Can you hear me? Happy cat day to all. Ah, I had to turn off the snow because Tutu's here now. Yo, yo. Good morning, Callie. Yes, yes. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Yay! Loud and clear. Kikoetemasu. Wonderful. <laughs> Isashiburi. I know there are a lot of deadbeats tuning in live that maybe don't usually get to tune in live. Isashiburi desu, konna jikan. Wow. Hehehe. <laughs> mezurashii desu na. Kinda rare. I don't know, I was, I was feeling it. And I had a busy day. Kyo wa isogashi katta kara. Yaha, yoru no haishin ga ii ka na to omote ta. I thought maybe. Let's do a night live stream for the first time in a while. Dudu. Dudu's here. It's cat day. <laughs> Neko no hi. Happy cat day, everyone. Dang, this would have been the perfect day to do the charity stream, but you know, Valentine's is good too. Can't complain. It went all right. <laughs> A bit of Cali before work, that's right. Ah, early morning for some folk. Maybe. That was kind of weird that I had like a little Irish accent there for like half a second. <laughs> Strange. You bro say thank you though. We rise and shine. Rise and shine, my skeletons. It's time to rise up from the grave and get to work. Get your butts to work. Ah, what's got us some of this? Gally Irish? <laughs> I guess it would make sense being kind of a better time for you. We're very close today. Hello. We're quite zoomed in on me. I hope I remember how to talk. <laughs> we haven't done a Zatsudang chatting stream in ages. It feels like. It feels like it really has been that long. Ages. Did I forget how to talk? I don't know. Talking is hard. <laughs> yeah. I'm losing my social skills. <laughs> I'm losing my, my incredible social skills, except... Thanks to Persona, I still get to refresh them a little bit. Talking optional in Zatsudan? I don't really know if that's true, Deadbeat. <laughs> I guess I could just look at you. I'm looking. Talking professionally is hard, that's for sure. Persona's just like real life. Mm-hmm. Probably just as easy to get a girlfriend too, don't you think? Mm, it really mimics life. <laughs> I don't think so. I think that's not true. <laughs> yeah, if only. <laughs> if only. <laughs> well. <laughs> sure wish. Uh, if only it could be that simple, right, Deadbeats? If only. I'm going to marry, I guess. So all of you deadbeats better back off. Unless you're okay with sharing. We can share, I guess. Just know that you have to share. I'm the Rizzler. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I agree. <laughs> but a lot of people seem to think that I am. <laughs> it's not It's not a conscious effort, I promise. I'm, I'm really not. I'm, tr I'm not trying to pull a fast one on anybody. I, I swear. It's really not like that. Sharing is caring. That's why we share Oshis, right? That's why we share Oshis. Sharing is caring. We gotta support. Give the most support possible. You have the unspoken Riz. Yeah, I, I can't go out of my way to, to Riz people up, but I can't. It's not written into my DNA. Like Alchan can. Well, whether she can successfully or not is up for debate, but... God, she sure does try, huh? She tries really hard. 
just kind of happens. Math exam today? Good luck on your exams, deadbeat. I wonder how it happens. <laughs> Maybe it's it's the not trying that becomes attractive? I don't know. It's too confusing for my small peanut brain to think about and try and process, though, so... Did a silent Zatsudan before? How does that work? Does it just become a staring contest, I wonder? And then I just stare daggers into your soul. normal one here as as everybody knows most normal talent in the end it's me I'm failing <laughs> failing my subterfuge <sighs> oh well I don't think I can be it's cool. I can be ultra quirky instead. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll be ultra quirky. <sighs> you know, I'm glad I can just be myself. <laughs> You're no normie. <laughs> well, I'm definitely a normie in some... in some categories, but... I've definitely become... I guess cultured... Since my time here in Holo, it definitely changed me a lot. I feel like a different person, but like not, not a hundred percent. I feel like I know more. I understand more. I resonate with, with more, how do I say, cultured things. <laughs> I've changed quite a bit. I'd like to think in a good way. Hmm. What made your day busy? Dance classes. Dance classes? And what else made my day busy? Hanging out with my cats. <laughs> it's become very important. I'm realizing that, you know, when I hear... When I hear the kitty cats meowing outside my studio door, it's like I've got a duty to, to make them happy too, you know? I gotta make my deadbeats happy, but I can't ignore my cats either. I don't have them to just ignore them, you know? Are they going well? I'd say so. As good as one could hope. As somebody that didn't have a lot of dance experience, but I'm getting much better. Yeah. You know, I, I really do need, I do need dance classes. Or else I start to, if, if I'm just left to my own devices, I start to move like somebody's weird, weird dad. Or uncle, you know? Like you ask your dad, hey dad, bust a move. You know, like white collar, white collar, early 50s dad. Hey dad, bust a move. The way that your dad moves to like music, especially quote unquote modern music, that's how I move. So I kind of need, mm, I kind of need dance lessons. Lore accurate. Death should be an excellent dancer. People dance with death every single day, right? So shouldn't I be an excellent dancer? Mm. So I gotta, gotta work harder. Mm. So what I'm hearing is you've already got some sick moves. Uh-uh. <laughs> I got a long way to go, Deadbeat's long way to go. Have I been exposed to the good word of Jadon? Jadon your soul? I wish that I knew what it meant. I mean, I know where it came from, and I know the origin, but... I'm struggling to place a meaning to Jadon. Who is Jadon? Jadon sounds like, um... Like a, a dude pop star that girls are really obsessed with and like have a bunch of like fan cams of like, oh my God, it's Jadon. 
I love Jadon so much, I stand Jadon. Who's your favorite out of the boys group? Jadon. It's gotta be Jadon. Oh, look at his hair. It's so perfect. Ugh, Jadon! Jadon, my soul! <laughs> I don't know. That's that's what I think of when I see Jadon, my soul. <laughs> oh, Jadon's my Oshi. It's gotta be Jadon. Yeah, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Like, you know, the kind of, like, K-pop fan base, fan cams. Jadon. I love Jadon. I have signed Polaroids from Jadon. Jadon, he's always in my soul. You know, like that kind of thing. Jadon, my bread. All right, now we're connecting it to Persona. Everything leads back to Persona. It's time for a nightcap. I have... I have the Mori wine glass prepared. I thought that we would share a cupper. Wait, no, that's the wrong term. Cupper is like cup of tea, right? Or like a cup of coffee. That's what British people call it, right? Yeah, no, this isn't what, that isn't that. What do British people call like late night, you're having a glass of wine with your friends? Yeah, cuppa is for tea. Yeah, tea or coffee, so you wouldn't use it with your mori glass of wine. It's like a nightcap. Uh, cuppa, not cupper. <laughs> I guess there's a there's a big stark difference. I, I knew it was a nightcap. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> what on earth? What on earth? Red or white? Well, it's gotta be red. Because red's the best color. You know what I realized, Deadbeats, is that I still suck at taking corks out of wine bottles. Freaking suck. Terrible at it. I'm sitting there and Ghost Cat's watching me. And I just, I slowly, gently twist and 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 prink. It's in there. Now it's time to prink it out. Right? And so I set up the, I set up the, what is it? It's like a wedge kind of thing that you use to like push down and then the, the swirly doohickey pulls out the cork. And so I, I pull and I pull and for whatever reason it's getting tilted and I try and pull it out straight. But because the wedge is kind of making it tilt, it's, go it's getting all tilted. So you know what happens? The cork rips in the center. And then the rest of the cork is still in the bottle. And I'm like, oh no, now I need to get rid of the rest of the cork that's in the bottle, but how do I do that? I can't stick my little fingies in there because, well, that just won't work, you know? It's stuck real good in there. So then I, I, I take the swirly thing and then I go twist and 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 twist it into the cork again. And then I set up the wedge again and I pull again and I really feel like I'm gonna hurt myself, but thankfully I don't. And I prank it out and Ghost Cat's just looking at me like, are you stupid? And anyway, that's the end of the cork. The cork is in two pieces, so I just throw it away. Cali stream at work, let's go! Welcome, welcome to all of you who don't normally get to catch a Cali stream. Hi! Break the bottle, strain the wine. Trust me, I'm a doctor. This Debbie's trying to kill me. Won't work. Trying to turn the tables, I see. I won't let you. Mori dot dot dot. Yeah, that's about par for the course. Mori dot dot dot. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely a Moriism. Sometimes I do things like like that. And it's really just like, ah, uh, yeah, you know, Mori would do that. Yeah, that does seem like a Mori thing. <laughs> Ghost Cat has swiped the cork off. You know, he was, he was swiping half of the cork. And I'm like, stop, Ghost Cat, you can't. Stop that. I had to grab it from him. I pranked it away from him. Hey, stop. Don't bat that around. It's not a toy. Don't batter it around, it's not a, it's not a toy. It's not one of your playthings. That's why I need to play with them more. That's why the past couple of days have been kind of light on actual stream hours, but the reason for that is it's a good reason. The cats need me. You know, the eight hour long stretches of Persona, etc. And all the homework that I've been doing have been leaving the cats, you know, just not, not playing much. It's not fair to them. It's not fair. I need to spend more time with them. So for a lot of today before my dance lesson, we snuggled in bed and watched Jojo, part one. I rewatched it. Jojo's part one and now I'm back in part two. 
and the kitty cat stayed with me the whole time. They were restfully snoozing on top of me and next to me. Tutu, she likes to get into like the crook of my legs under the covers, cause it's really warm there. And she stays right there. A rare Cali stream appears. Ultra Sphere, go. You're gonna need a legendary sphere to catch me. I'm strong, I can't be contained. I'm wild, I'm crazy, she's crazy. She'll kill ya. Part two is your fave? Oh yeah, me too. But I also really love, I also really love part five, but mm, I'm a bigger fan of the, like the side characters in part five. Nothing wrong with Giorno or anything, but what really sells me on part five is uh, the cast overall. <laughs> That's right, you're gonna get yourself caught. You try and throw a legendary sphere at me, watch out, buddy boy. It's gonna be over for you. But yeah, no, part, part one is just like, it's something like nice and cozy to watch. When you haven't watched it in a while and you want something that's just ridiculous and kind of silly, lay down with your cats and watch. And maybe Tutu nibbles my toes and I have to tell her to go away. <laughs> but then I, then I let her back in. I haven't read the manga yet. Little by little. Uh, have I read? I've, I think I've read one part in the manga. I remember reading, what was it? Was it part, was it part six? And I know a little bit about, I know a little bit about part seven. Yeah. Very, very exciting though. Love me some JoJo's. It's, yeah, it's one of those series where I can just return to it anytime and enjoy it like usual. It's a comfortable series. How was Deoru's show? That's right, yeah, the concert. She invited me. That was really nice. I wasn't expecting that, but she just messaged me like, hey, come to my show. I'm like, for free? She's like, yeah. Just, just come and say who you are and they'll let you in. I was like, oh, cool. That was really nice. I had probably like one of the best seats too. Really inspiring. I don't know how she does it. The stamina is just amazing to dance and sing at the same time. That's not something that just chumps can do, Deadbeats. That's, well, I think she's the best of the best. She's like one of the original divas of all time, right? Like the Lady Gaga of Japan. So it's just inspiring to see her perform. And then, and then I go say hi to her afterwards and she's so tiny. How do you hold all that air in your lungs when you are so small? Says the woman who survived New Underworld Order. Okay, but I was really, 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 really practicing a lot and dancing a lot and working out a lot and training my stamina a lot before that. So. Yeah, whenever I get a chance to do another show, whenever that may be, gonna have to run through the same thing again. <laughs> lungs bigger on the inside. Where are the rest of the organs? It's all lungs. Ah, neko chan kawaii Looks like he's got teal goggles. What a cutie. Small package, huge gains. I mean, she is definitely an OG of music in Japan, so I guess it just goes to show, right? <laughs> just goes to show what you can accomplish when when you're like that intense, that big. She's great. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Reoru. I, collab I collabed with Reoru on my, my Jigok 6 album, Carousel of Imaginary Images. The order. I could eat her. I could throw her. When we were recording our song in the studio, I thought as much, but I kept those thoughts to myself, as as anyone obviously should. You should do that. When you're making new friends too, especially don't tell them that you like could throw them. It's probably, yeah, for the better. Oh. Yeah. One of your favorite songs right now. She might let you. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. 
<laughs> mirror, mirror, tell me again if it was fated that I made it or a stroke of luck. Maybe it's a little bit of both. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit of both. Thank you, Vlad. Wow. Thank you so much for the Aka Spa. Red, red, red. Red is the best color, as you all know. But I've kind of realized that I always thought my eyes were red. They're not red. They're like a bright, bright, and also at the same time, dark pink. First you got some purple and some darkness like the void really at the center, but they're mostly dark pink-ish. Man, I was hoping for red. I don't care, they're red, okay. So we have some dead beats that, that feel similarly. Hmm, full on pink in here. Dark pink is basically red. I mean, maybe it's a shade of red. Look, it's the same color as my drink, right? Whoa, my drink's really small. Time to prank it. Be bigger. Prank it up in size. Whoa. Yum. I just keep, I keep talking. Probably should take a sip, but... There we go. It does sunset. You want some? You can have some. Whoa, 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 quit moving. See, he's slurping. Drink looks redder. What about the rose? Look. Okay, maybe it's a little redder. Especially in the bottom. Hmm. I wonder. Today is cat day in Japan. Did you do something special for Tutu? Yeah, we watched Jojo together. Ishoni Jojo miteta. Neko-chan to issho ni miteta. Ashita wa kohobi ageru. Churu. Let me get her that churu. Oh yeah, whenever whenever Chadcast comes back, we might just bring it back instead of completely revamping it. We were talking about it a little earlier. We were like, dang, there's so much we want to talk about now. Let's just bring it back. <laughs> Even though there are some plans that we had for improvements and stuff like that. I'm thinking, let's just bring it back. And improvements will happen gradually. We have too much we want to talk about. Mm. Oh, thank you, tough boy. And I hope you enjoyed Persona 3. I do know how it ends, but I know I'm gonna cry anyway at the end. <laughs> Thanks, Dongan. Cute. No. No. She's, she's weird. She's she's strange, that Mori. Something wrong with her. <laughs> Something wrong with that one. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll I'll have a sip. Jeez. I'll have a sip. That girl ain't right. Oh, all of Chadcast is in Japan too. It'd be so easy to just gather together at the studio and just just run it. Just make it happen. Forest Chan do be weird sometimes, yeah. Temporary boobs forest. Maybe maybe I don't know. People maybe don't get that. Kadi ope. Kadi is like like temporary, like ka kari taitoru, kari ririku. Like temporary lyrics, temporary title, kari uta. Temporary vocals, like in a song, ope. It's short for opai, boobs. She cooked too long, uh oh. Lost you for a second there, kari ope. Temporary boobs chan. Anyway. Just let, just letting you know that that's. <laughs> what, what, what? I told you that girl. She's strange. I don't know if I'd choose her as my Oshi. There's something wrong with her. I'd be real careful if I were you. And <laughs> isn't that Kanata Senpai? Oh, true. Maybe Kanata Senpai is Kari Ope. Kanata Senpai no Kari Ope. Temporary boobs, Kanata Senpai. Wow, true. Oh, uh, you cooked with that one, Deadbeat. That's good. That's pretty good. We only had one sip of red wine. What's going on here? <laughs> Weirdly cute. Morikari Ope. 
Really? My boobs are forever. I'm not gonna show them to you right now. Cause Tutu's in front of them. There will come a time though, I'm sure that you'll catch a glimpse, but I'm not gonna go out of my way. Right now, no! It must be natural. Isn't it better when it's natural? That's how I feel. I don't like when things are forced. So I, I, I like when I'm watching someone, I like it when the, when the pandering is very natural. If it's too in your face all the time, it loses what makes it special. You know? That's how I feel. <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. This is about booba, right? It's about pandering. Fan service. If you if you dole it out in excessive doses, that's fine. But that's that's not what I enjoy. I like when it's like little by little. What do they call that? Blue balling? No, no, blue balling's too cruel. That is cruel. There is nothing more natural than brushing your sister's teeth. Okay. But I was so kind of shocked by that, that like, I was like, whoa, that made an impression on me. <laughs> I'll never forget that. What a scene. That takes me back to high school. <laughs> anyway, out of context, maybe that's a bit strange, but Fan service, eh? Mm. I think the, the dosage is important. At least to me. We've only had two sips of wine. There's nothing strange here. I just feel relaxed. I should relax more when I stream. Sometimes I feel like I get all wound up and like... Too worried about things. Things that don't matter. 50% alcohol wine, I believe. Not true. Not true. It's regular. Just just 15. Not 50. 15. That was one thing that kids always seem to get wrong in school. You know? Someone would be like, Hello, my name is... My name is Yamada. And I have 50 girlfriends. And I'd be like, That's wrong, Yamada. You can't have 50. There's only like 20 girls in the class. And he'd be like, nah, sorry, I meant 15. Yamada-kun, what's going on? Calm down, Yamada. <laughs> Yamada, calm down. We know that's not true either, but it's a lot more reasonable. That's still a lie. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Yamada, you're 13. Calm down. Matter of fact, probably that's not how many girlfriends you have. That's how old you are. So chill, Yamada, calm down. There will be time for 50 girlfriends later. <laughs> Yamada-kun, you're capping. What a gamer. You must be really good at video games. The ladies love a guy that's good at games. For sure, for sure. Brizzling everybody. Anyway. <laughs> 50 and 15. The different... You know what? can make all the difference. It's a big discrepancy. Mm -hmm. This alcohol is 15%. I'm sorry, what was that? 15? No problem. But the bartender actually said 50. And you ordered 14 shots. And you told your friends that you were going to drink all of them in succession. But what you didn't understand is that the bartender, the English just really wasn't popping off super good for the bartender. Maybe fell asleep in one too many of Mori Sensei's classes. And then down go the drinkies, and you're dead. You're super dead. Rose drinking rubbing alcohol, yeah. There he goes. His friends don't know what happened. Was it his fault or the bartender's fault? An interesting plot. 50 rep. 50 rep. I remember the spiritist shot days. Long ago. Mori's too old for that now. <laughs> 
body's starting to get weak. I'm too weak for strong, strong alcohol now. It's crazy because I feel like it only happened in just the past couple of years. In the past, like, maybe even two years or so, I just really hate strong alcohol now. <laughs> I can't take it. It's been like two years, yeah, I don't know, maybe I just finally crossed over. Weak, yeah. Super weak. But red wine still never fails. For just like, I don't know, a chill night with friends. Or maybe the occasional nightcap with Debius. Hasn't it been four years? Oh, I feel like the, the hard liquor drinking was definitely in the first and probably quite a bit of the second year. But after that, I feel like... Yeah, something changed. My body got weak, and I think also I'm just kind of done with all that. Not really for me. Don't really need that stuff anymore. Yeah. Though, don't get me wrong, I'm still definitely a big escapist when it comes to real life. But... But the way that I escape from my real life is by streaming. Probably not something to brag about. But that's definitely what has happened. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we all run away in our own ways. I know I exude a lot of positivity these days. Positivity? What's that? Positivity these days. Because my perspective on a lot of things has changed. You know, people have a lot of really negative things going on in their life, right? So, I think it's my job to be positive and exude positivity. Make people happy. Focus on that. But at the end of the day, I can't just completely lie and pretend like everything is all perfect in sunshine and rainbows. Because that's just kind of not... I don't think that's good either. I think that there's a way that we can still escape from reality while also accepting it at the same time. That's what I learned. Yeah. Because if I just run away from it all the time and if streaming is a huge, big, major part of my life, I feel like I'm lying to myself all the time and running away from problems. I don't want to run away, you know? But I also don't want to dwell on negative things because in my experience, just doing that all the time doesn't end well. It doesn't end well at all. Such is life. <laughs> Dance and Deadbeat, do you like my new mix? I was like, yeah, holo background music is great, but I kind of want my own chill mix, you know? I also feel like if I'm if I'm only like a hundred percent pretending, right, that everything is like positive and perfect all of the time. If I'm doing that, um, maybe like it's like a weird thing, but I wonder if it's kind of hard to cheer and root for somebody who seems to have it perfect all the time, and I'm just lying to myself and to the fans, and then making it look like I'm some kind of, like, perfect, extremely happy person. I don't know. These kind of things, I think about them. I cross my mind. But the difference now is that I don't let them defeat me. You know? Mm. I can still work through all of it. And have fun. Wow. Yeah. I think... There is definitely balance to be found in everything. And when it comes to being positive and accepting that there are also bad things that happen in life, I think finding middle ground is really important. Anyway, so Mori Kleipi's a big fence sitter. She really sits on the fence and just doesn't really go extremely one way or the other. But that's okay. I hope you can accept your fence sitting Oshi. I don't like conflict these days. I like to just chill and play fun games together and talk about Jadon my soul and go after cute girls in persona and pretend to be a cowboy and hang out with my friends you know huh. I'm chilling on my bed as they say <laughs> sitting on fences can hurt Maybe that's my stance. My stance will forever be in the middle because I don't like conflict. So what? Maybe that is my stance. 
Maybe I am taking a stance, but being in the middle. What, is Jadon still trending? I don't know. Shall we find out? I guess I can take a peek. It's not. But I feel like things trend differently for different people, don't you think? Like I see Fuawa trending for me, and then there's Neko no Hi, of course. Um, but I don't know if everybody sees the same things. Bloodborne's also trending. It might just depend on the country that you're in, number one. Number two, maybe in your general interests? I don't know. <laughs> Sitting down the fence. I don't see it. Yeah, we must have different trending things. I mean, I guess unless it's like a really, really major thing, it might be kind of hard to see. Anyway, get off of X. Get off of there. Oh. Your flaws make you who you are. That's a very kind sentiment. I think it's tough to be in the entertainment industry sometimes because imposter syndrome, whatever imposter syndrome you guys might have in your day to day, let me tell you what. In this industry, it gets wacky. Like it gets, it gets really, really, really wild. Imagine everything that you know about imposter syndrome, but it's like times 50 bajillion. That's why they say, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. That's definitely true for this. I think you have to really have a, a really specific kind of mindset to be here. 50 bajillion's a big number. Yeah, I don't think there are that many people in the world. I don't think I've killed that many people even. <laughs> Still struggling with that, huh? Yeah. I don't think it can ever truly go away from me, not in this industry. But I won't let it defeat me. Hmm. It'll always be there. And there will still be sad days, but I won't let it defeat me. I won't be beaten. Listen to me using words like defeat, like I'm a shonen protagonist. Mori thinks she's the main character, but actually, actually, I'm gonna pull out the um. Actually, I don't. I don't want to be the main character. I want to be off to the side. I don't want to. I don't want to be JoJo. I don't want to be Dio even. I want to be Speedwagon. You know. I feel like that's more what I like, you know? Everybody's like, oh yeah, the great Gatsby is like, it's Gatsby's story and Gatsby's the main character and Gatsby's like this big deal. But I'd, I'd, I'd prefer to be in the position of the author, you know, who's like the friend of Gatsby. That's just more, <laughs> that's, more that's more what I like. Even in theater, that's always kind of how I, I felt I don't really like, I mean, some level of spotlight is, is necessary to do the things that I want to do. Speedwagon's awesome, I know, right? I love Speedwagon. He's also just really endearing because he's always, like, saying things that make you go, like, Speedwagon, be, be quiet, but also based? It's hard to explain. Oh no, he's using his special powers against Jojo and he's blocking his Haman! W what will Jojo do? He's in a pickle! <laughs> Cutting to Speedwagon for like 10 seconds so he can just tell everyone what's going on. I, I love that about him. It's like, be quiet, but also, you're great. <laughs> Speedwagon, please, you're right, but not right now. It's like, you're like, Speedwagon, shut up, but it doesn't make you not like him. <laughs> it's very silly. That's why he's the best. <laughs> he withdraws away in a cool fashion. How did he get so rich again? Um, I don't know if this is spoilers for the beginning of part two, I guess, and maybe what happens after part one. So if you don't want those kinds of spoilers, close your ears. But the way that Speedwagon got his riches, I believe, is that it was like he found oil in Texas or something. Yeah. He dug up oil. Speedwagon withdraws coolly. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, Texas oil baron. Good for him. Good for him. I'm happy for him. Oil in Texas and then inv investments. Dang. He deserved it for all that he went through. Hmm. 
Speed Wagon Foundation drowning in riches. Yeah, so I'm I'm rewatching everything. But I still love part two so much. I mean, I was thinking about it. It still might be my favorite. I also, I love part five and I love, you know, stands and stuff like that. But I just, I feel like I had the most fun watching part two. You know, it's so crazy. It's just the story is so insane, but like in a good way. Yeah, started from the bottom and now he's here. Something also really special about about that part um, to me as well, or rather just Jojo in general, watching the whole thing, knowing nothing about Jojo. <laughs> Callie's speed wagon, that makes her best girl. <laughs> like a speed wagon's best girl. I don't think I do enough narrating of, of my friends my friends' things. Maybe I do. I, I do shout them out sometimes, but... Not quite as much as Speedwagon does for Jojo. But one of my favorite things about going into Jojo not knowing anything about it was seeing a character like Speedwagon, who I thought was just gonna, like, die immediately, become, like, important. <laughs> Over time. <laughs> you know? And I guess, slight spoilers. If you haven't seen JoJo and you want to watch it again, some slight spoiler, or you want to watch it, close your ears, some slight, spo sp slight spoilers, slight, sp slight spoilers. But to like see him have like a legacy that like continues throughout is really cool. <laughs> it, it made it really feel like an adventure, even more so than it already did. Wakasparigato! Wakasparigato! Ureshi desu! Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. No message? What a chat. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Do I have a favorite JoJo villain? Mm. I think that... Mm, I'm gonna be, be careful just to really make sure I don't spoil people, but part four's villain is really fun. Fun villain. But I also just think that the pillar men are freaking hilarious. They're just so funny. So they're lots of fun. Jadown, Akaspa. Wamu! Cars! The cars be vroom vroom. The freaks, you mean? Yeah, but the best kind of freaks. Wamu! The Pillarman theme has been your alarm clock ever since it came out. Ah, uh, good idea. <laughs> dang it. Ah, uh, good idea. Man, dang, I should do that. The dubstep. True. Awaken my bustas. <laughs> masters. <laughs> my bustas? Busta rhymes? Awaken my masters. Literally awaken time. Oh yeah, Dopio. My bustas, my mustard. Awaken my mustard. That's silly. Dun 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 dun. Love steps go whoa whoa. You should read part 4-7 before the anime to truly appreciate the villain there. Oh yeah? Yeah, I've been kind of avoiding reading Jojo manga just because I kind of wanted to see an anime first, but maybe I'll check it out. Especially if it really is, if part 7 is cowboys. That's right up my alley. I gotta check it, I'd be a fool not to. Just woke up, chill stream though. Welcome. We're just hanging out. I haven't done one of these in forever. Just talking, you know? I feel like I always have to be playing a game or doing something. Kinda nice to just sit back and like, I don't know, chat about whatever. Part 7's very American. Well, as an American underworldian, I guess I like it a lot. Or at least relate to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zatsu is your favorite game? Nice. Uh, that's exactly what we're doing right now. I thought to myself, maybe we should play something, and then I said, no, Mori. 
I'm gonna force you to not, not play any game. We're not gonna play any browser game or do any other side stuff. Just sit down and talk. Enough. You play enough games. You play hours and hours of games. Calm down. Yeah. Not everything has to be 100% gaming content, engaging content, jingling keys in front of your face. Zatsu backseating challenge? I don't really, I mean, you could tell me what to talk about. Talk about this, talk about this, but I mean, since there truly really is no right answer, I feel like it's easier for me to ignore and just pick what I want. Mm. Thoughts on the Elden Ring trailer? Oh man, I'm so excited. It's crazy because I had just gotten back from a hangout that I can maybe talk about later. A hangout. Um, and I had just gotten back and I arrived um, and I was, I just sat on my bed and I was like, oh man, it's literally on the hour, on the dot. Let's watch the trailer. And I clicked it and I, I tuned in right when it started. Crazy luck, honestly. So I tuned in right when it began. I watched, I watched all of it and I was like, I can't believe, no spoilers, go watch it. <laughs> go watch it. If you haven't watched it, what are you doing? <laughs> you gotta go watch it. I'm reading things that you guys are saying. Mm. The universe needs you to watch it. I just, um, I'm very excited. I've been reading interviews about it as well because I'm, I'm that excited, right? And I read, oh yeah, this is the biggest expansion that they've, that they've ever done, is what they're saying, right? And then it's a completely different map. That's what I read, right? It's a completely different map from the main, so we're probably gonna, yeah, we're gonna warp to get there, right? And they said it's the biggest expansion they've ever done, but then when they said in scale, like how big is it going to be? And they said, well, it's kind of hard to say, but it might be as big as Limgrave. I kind of thought that Limgrave's not extremely big, personally. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna have to refresh ourselves though, guys. I. I thought about playing Elden Ring again, maybe on stream sometime soon, so that we can get ready. All of Limgrave is huge. It's relatively pretty small. Limgrave is huge. One giant poison swamp, hopefully. The hippo was pretty cool. You spent like 15 hours there? Oh, I see. Interesting. Bibu mentioned starting a new character. That could be kind of fun. Maybe we play as Rob Schneider instead of... <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how we feel. Make a new character in New Game Plus? Uh, I don't know. Maybe New Game Plus could be cool. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, why? <laughs> Come on, Deadbeat. <laughs> Come on, Deadbeat. You know. You know what it is. <laughs> you came here. <laughs> you know what it is. Oh, yeah. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth next week. Man, I really, really hope that we can that we can play that. It seems like it should be possible, right? They put out something about streaming, I think, so I'd really love to play that, but we need to finish Persona first. So we'll probably, we'll be grinding Persona all through all of that, really, 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 really trying to finish it. Because <laughs> I'm not starting another big game. <laughs> I'm not. Did I play the first remake? I did. I wanted to play it on stream, but it seemed not possible. Another eight hours of Tartarus per day, huh? Well, we're gonna have to get to work. I'm surprised that, that Eofu finished it so quickly. Cause I looked at all the combined hours of, of streaming that she did and wasn't it only something like 40, maybe even 35 hours? Yeah, I was really surprised. She's a better persona than you. Yeah, must be the skills. What a gamer. How'd she do that? It's quite fast. Maybe she didn't farm? Maybe not. Some people zoom through the game. It's crazy. Yeah. More of a gamer. I guess so. A lot of personaing. She has finished the game though, yes. But I was I was looking at like the combined like hours, I guess, and I was like, whoa, that's less than I've played, and I'm like 45% through the story. <laughs> mm. Some people didn't finish Social Links. 
She farmed off stream though. Oh, I see. Yeah, that might be that might be one way to do it, but I don't know. I'm thinking to myself, if I'm in Tartarus, I might as well just show it on the screen, you know. Ooh, that's a really good name for the re the next Red Dead, Red Dead Steed. Yeah. There's a Thurgy skill that one shots. I've seen it. I have seen I've seen clips of that on X. It's half the game after all. Yeah, grinding in Tartarus. I suppose that's true. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like if I'm grinding in Tartarus, might as well do it with you guys watching, right? That's how I feel. Personally. But. There's a really fast horse up in the snow area you can get for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some deadbeats have been saying that, right? We still gotta keep grinding in Red Dead, too. We're about 30% through the story. And I believe in the second act? Or chapter? I forget. <laughs> but we're, we're making some progress, and we will finish that game. We will. Mm. She said X again. I know, it hurts. It'll always be Twitter to me, but I'm like... For the sake of being correct, I suppose. Okay. Doodoo. Bye, doodoo. She's gonna go to bed. I'm here now. Holy... I'm still, I'm still petting her. <laughs> but now, now you can see my collarbone. See? You gotta, you gotta show the collarbone in doses, I guess. Bye, cat. There she goes. <laughs> Screw being correct, it's Twitter. <sighs> you're so right, but also at the same time, you're wrong, but you're right. Ugh. <sighs> Zitter. I guess that works. Hmm. Collarbones? Yeah. See, look. Yeah, I really zoomed up quite close for this one, huh? Stop, my boss will see this. Well, it's still mostly my face. Don't worry. I, I take into account that some of you guys are at work. I'd never out you like that. Come on. That's not me. Believe in your boy. Hmm. Those are pretty good bones, not gonna lie. And don't we know it? Don't we know what bones are good and which bones are bad? No bones about it. My skeletons. My boss is here. Keep going. Hello, boss! How are you? Are you also enjoying the stream? Hello, Deadbeats boss. I hope you're having a great day. Oh, wow, what's that? That's crazy! No way! Oh man! Hold on, my mouse slipped. Hold on, Deadbeat's boss, calm down- wait, no! No, this isn't what the Deadbeat is watching. The Deadbeat was watching just my face. Hold on, wait, no. I'm sorry, hang on. No, the Deadbeat's boss wasn't looking at- wait, the Deadbeat- the de boss- Deadbeat boss! Calm down, they weren't- they weren't looking at- uh-oh. Oh no, hold on. My mouse- ah, my keyboard fell down again. No, Deadbeat boss, wait, don't get mad, don't fire them. Don't fire them. My three-year-old nephews watch- Okay, that's much worse. We're back to the face now. Stop. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. F. I'm in trouble. Well, I'm fired now. Oh. Watching a stream during work. And you're tabbed into it? That's brave. You're pretty brave. She claims to not like fan service. Ahem. <clears throat> We're looking at my face right now, Deadbeat. What did I say earlier in the stream? In doses. So that it's special. Right? I don't know. It's not something that I know a lot about. I just got promoted. Thanks, Mori. You're welcome. See, look. Who's to say that your boy isn't on your side? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm, kawaii. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ikemen. My face is also fan service? What do you no, it's just a face. It's just a regular old face. Look. Whoa. I mean 
Well... It is pretty high resolution. Where'd the chat go? Hello? Chat? Oh. I may have found them. They're behind me, aren't they? Yeah. My eyes are HD. I mean, if you zoom in really, 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 really close, maybe you'd see pixels. I don't know. Everything's good. I hope they never let me blink like this. Look at my eyes rattle around like marbles in my head. No blinking allowed, deadbeats. No blinking allowed. Here's hoping. Am I planning on doing members ASMR before Poppy Playtime? Is it not tomorrow? I thought the members ASMR was tomorrow. Is my calendar really that effed up? Dang it. I guess I did move it to the 24th. Then yes, that is correct. I guess we'll do something else tomorrow then. I think the calendar is bad. The calendar has really messed me up a lot of times. Dang it. Well, if we moved it to that day, then that means we get to do something else tomorrow. What it is, I haven't decided, but we'll do something else. <gasps> Maybe we should do a Japanese stream at this time. That might be kind of good. Cool. Let's play Glover. Um, I'd rather die, which says a lot because I'm the Grim Reaper. Oh, Glover. <laughs> Glover bros, I'm sorry. You've been waiting so long. Maybe someday. Pretty sure I uninstalled the game, but I might reinstall it again for you. You guys have been really good to me. <laughs> Power World Gooba mod, I'm gonna have to make a whole new, brand new everything, though. Hmm. I wonder. I've been playing a lot of Power World just on my own these days, but... Well, we'll see how we feel. How about it? Yeah, it feels kind of nice to not just do... Uh, gaming all the time. A nice, slight reprieve. I'd love to get more creative, but for now, maybe let's just try and do a couple of these kind of streams every once in a while. There's a Japanese otaku way of saying, Oppai no tsuita ikemen. Oppai no tsuita ikemen. Op Oppai no tsuita ikemen, kariope da. Kariope wa oppai tsuita ikemen. Ah. Dou datta? Dekita kana? Ikemen. I'm terrible at pitch accent, but I'm trying to learn. Recently, I actually had I had the experience of getting to go record something like officially in Japanese for a thing Which was nuts It was very scary And I had coaching for it, right? And I, I really practiced every single line over and over and over and over again I don't think they were happy with it <laughs> But but according to my to my coach, it was very very it was an extremely strict thing, um, and I shouldn't feel bad about it, because because no matter how much I practiced, it probably still wouldn't be good enough. But that's okay. I did my best, and I think they appreciated that. It's a valuable experience, right? Yeah. So I'm not really worried. Because overall, they, they aren't gonna, they said that they wouldn't like throw anything out and whatnot. It wasn't native, but well, I'm not native. Yeah, and then if you practice too much, you start to only care about the pick, pitch accent, and then uh, you forget about the engi, which is the acting. I learned that new word in the booth, engi. That's acting. 
演技演技が大事うん。Yeah, acting for 声優演技 No, not 演技 Not 演技 This is 演技演技演技 It's different Different thing Just, just so you know うんうんうんうん日本語の配信やりたい Mm. We'll see how I feel. This is another reason why I don't usually have much of a schedule because I kind of I feel like I do better with my content if I just go with the flow of what I want to play. Wake up and I'm like,、mm, what do I want to play tomorrow? Because I still have to kind of decide the day before, right? Yeah. I have to kind of decide the day before, but if I stick with the vibes, then it's like s w e e k of verses, you know? I, I, messaged, I messaged everyone, like, let's play! But I don't really have a lot of options because, you know, not everybody is here right now. But we'll see. There might be an opportunity sometime soon. Because it's got to be local. Hmm. Maybe I can invite Milky over. Bay and Iris, but they're busy, you know, they're, they're real busy folks. Maybe, maybe a JP would want to play, I don't know. Put it up on the big screen? But when it comes to schedule, I mean, if you guys think EN's schedule is busy. Ah.、Uh, yeah. This week of Versus has online coming soon? Well, fingers crossed, because then we can have a bunch of different collabs. Where's the tournament? This week of tournament, that's what I want to do. Yeah, I do think that.、Um, Not having a schedule just seems to work out better for me because I, I try to stay consistent with the time, except for recent, you know, tonight's stream and maybe tomorrow's stream is just kind of a special, special exception. But yeah, usually, I don't know. I keep everything kind of at the same. You can generally find me streaming at the same time.、Mm. Well, yeah, Milky is going to finish the Jump King DLC soon. Maybe she'd want to play. Oh, I wish her the best because I think you guys remember how intense that was, right? King DLC.、Mm. Not Ghost of the Babe, but New Babe Plus. That in and of itself was quite an adventure. Because that was tough too. Not quite as tough as Ghost of the Babe, but still pretty tough. Yeah. Back to the bog. It all leads back to the bog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've spent, I've spent the same time playing Ghost of the Babe that I have playing regular Jump King and New Babe Plus. Together. They really pulled out all the stops for that one. Yeah. I、uh, will complete it. Just don't know when.、Mm. Could be a long road. But for now, I want to I wanna get some games that I know that I can beat out of the way, like Persona 3. Well, thanks a lot, Retro Candy. That's kind. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. And congrats. Oh, yeah, I got some illustrations made for like、um, some ASMR stuff. And there's, there's this one idea that I really want to do. It's kind of like it's my first time ever doing like an ASMR roleplay thing, but it's not like. Not like intense, like you may think it is. It's based around a concept. It's not your buy or anything like that. I think it's a concept you guys are gonna like a lot because it's based off a game that we played together. I think, I think you guys will like it. Like I said, it's, it's not your buy or like anything like that. It's, it's, it's based off of a, a game we played. And I commissioned some art for it, and it's really, really good. And I'm wearing the, the outfit that the, the main character wears. And、she's really cool. I hope, we, oh, I hope you guys will like it. I think you guys will like it a lot, actually.、Mm -hmm. But it's being animated right now. Yeah, I thought about making it like a, a members only thing, but I was like, nah, this needs to be shared with the world because it's just that good. So I hope that you like it a lot. <laughs> Rusty! Rusty ASMR. <laughs> Armored Core ASMR. It'll be, it's, I'm gonna aim to have it be more of like, um, Like a chill and like immersive ASMR, then kind of like,、um, like my usual kind of like whispery, like close up in your ear kind of thing. 
but there's I'm gonna plan like sound effects and stuff like that and there might be some distant music playing because it it takes place in a in a place I, I don't want to give anything away but I'm very excited about it so yeah just be trying to do something kind of different you know yeah spreading my creative wings I guess as much as I can <laughs> I read it. I was able to read that. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> it's the start of the Death Social Link ASM. <laughs> You'll like it. I'm sure of it. It's a it's a playthrough that was very near and dear to all of our hearts. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, it's gonna be good. But I don't know when it'll happen. Hopefully early next month, but we'll see. I told the animator, please finish this one first. Callie, social link ASMR. Uh. <laughs> Nihongo. Nihongo. Jose de kawaii. <laughs> kawaii kunai. <laughs> I see some great guesses in the chat. Tanaka ASMR? Tanaka! Can you imagine an annoying saleswoman ASMR? That seems like a really like fringe idea that just wouldn't work, but like... <laughs> you see Mori try that and you're like, oh man, she's getting real, real desperate for crazy ideas. <laughs> annoying saleswoman ASMR. Like, try and come up with the most annoying ASMR ever. <laughs> really, really annoying. <laughs> there's cursed ASMR, there's annoying saleswoman ASMR. Oh man. Mori falls down the steps and calls for help ASMR. Well, that's kind of dark. Callie is cool. I love that sweet look on your face. Wow! Yasashi! Arigato! Sweet look. How about this look? Kawaii. Kono hito wa hen desu ne. Nanka hen. Yabai hito kamo shire nai. Someone's got the zoomies. Guess I got it for my cats. It is Neko no Hi after all, which means cat day in Japanese. <laughs> I can't scare them away. They stay. Why? <laughs> Why? Nande? <laughs> Yankee. I'm Yankee. Yankee this. Yabai kurai kawaii. <laughs> no. Sorry, I'm having some fun talking to the JP bros right now. Wow, there are JP bros. I can't even believe... What do you mean you can't believe, Mori? You, sp you speak some Japanese and they, they come out like... I'm trying to think of a good example. They like skitter out, like um. I was gonna say like rats with cheese, but like that's really mean. That's like a mean thing. You guys aren't rats to me. You guys are like beautiful butterflies. Or maybe like cute rabbits when you put out a carrot. They jump out, and they're like, "Oh, give me some of that carrot." But they were hiding in the bush before. 
because I'm speaking English. Nihongo Jozu. What about a stream where you teach Japanese? I don't think I'm qualified. But I'd love to learn some new words, maybe with you guys, and have the JP bros teach us. I think we did something kind of like that before. Huh. Gatitos! With catnips. Huh. Butterflies to nectar? Maybe, or like hummingbirds. Huh. Where are the lurkers? They're here. They're here. Don't worry. Can you teach Spanish? Hola, senor! El gato, me gusta el gato. Me gusta el gato. Ja, 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 ja. Donde esta... Don't say la biblioteca. Everybody says la biblioteca. Uh, donde esta... El... Taco Bell Gordita. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool and different. Let's see. Translate. Donde esta el Baja Blast? Let's see. Uh, Spanish? Spanish. <laughs> ja, 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 ja. Oh, let's see. Um... Me gusta matar gente. Maybe it's hen hente. That kind of sounds like hentai. Ja, 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 don. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, 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 Hente, hentai? Me gusta. Soy una asesina. Hentai? Yonda? No, no, no. Hente. Hente. I think hente is people. Yeah. I'm asesina. Soy una asesina. Te te pe, per per te perseguire con uno chuchilo. Uh, people is per personas. What is gente? Don't worry. <laughs> I just said I will chase you with a knife. Yes, bros, coming out the woodworks. I'm just doing my best to make everyone smile, but maybe some of the things I'm saying are not very nice. Oh, gente is also people. G gente, like gentlemen's. That is nowhere near what you said. Are you sure? Hold on a sec. Let me see. Te perseguiré con un cuchillo. Te per... per... perseg... Te perseguiré con un cuchillo. Te perseguiré con un cuchir, cuchillo. I'll chase you with a knife. You think that'll make the ES bros like me? Oh, cuchi, cuchillo, cuchi, cuchillo. It, it's not cuchillo. Anyway. You can roll your R's at least. There was a song that I covered recently that you guys will hear soon where there's a lot of rolled R's like And I was like, hey, um, and I asked another member from EN, I don't want to say who because maybe they're, they're embarrassed, but there are a lot of people in EN like this, right? They can't roll their R's. I said, hey, this song, I want to cover it together. There's a lot of growls and rolling R's. And she said, Mori, rolling my R's is the only thing I can't do. I was like, oh no. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I asked you to cover it with me. But it's cool because we're doing a different song. There's a lot of people that can't roll their prank. It's the one thing that Spanish class gave me. 
As a youngster, I learned how to roll my R's. Rony is one of them. It's not that hard, but, but some people think it's really hard. It's not genetics, is it? I don't know. I just learned from a young age that if I wanted to speak Spanish, they're like, you gotta learn to roll your R's. You do it like this. Interesting. R rolling facts. I can't roll my R's. So Tutu is Spanish? I don't know. She does make a lot of sounds, that's for sure. Oh. Spanish lessons with the Padre. Thank you for doing the charity for cats. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. I'm so glad that it went well. I didn't think that we would hit the original. Well, I kind of thought maybe we'll hit the original goal. But then we went way above and beyond. A hundred thousand dollars raised for cats. I think they're going to make a PR statement about it pretty soon, which makes me really happy. So it will be reported on. But yeah, I'm happy. Feels like, like we did something really good, you know? I don't want to say for once, because I feel like what's happening here, you know, with, with you guys and me, us just having fun together, it's good, you know? I feel like what I'm doing is important anyway, making people smile through their difficult days, right? But it felt like I was, we were all doing something, right? That had like a more, like, I guess, long-standing permanent effect. It was cool. And the more that like I snuggle with my cats recently, I think to myself, I'm really glad that we did that. I hope that there are more charities, charity streams in the future. Because not just cats, but all, all animals need some love and maybe some other charities would be good too. Maybe, maybe a charity for older folks or something like that would be nice. Old folks charity. Yeah. But I feel like I have a hard time doing an old folks charity because as much as I, I love to help out the older folk, I feel like people would just make too many distasteful jokes. But that happens anyway, so it's something you gotta get over. You know, and just ignore that stuff. And just do it anyway. You know. You know why why should why should we not raise money for old folks just because of some some silly silly comedians, you know, in chat. That's just silly. That shouldn't stop us. Right? How about old cats in bowler hats? British cats in bowler hats. <laughs> I want to look up a cat in a bowler hat now. Hmm. Do I like any other musicals? Yeah. Les Miserables. But everybody already knows that. Hamilton, Les Miserables, they're, they're both really good. Um, what else do I like? I generally like a lot of musicals, but Les Mis is the only one that I would say is my true blue favorite that I will always like tout as my favorite of all time. Yeah. And I can sing every song. Mm. And we have Wicked's getting a movie. I bet that's going to be pretty good. I wonder how that'll go. A lot of people didn't like the Les Miserables movie, the one with, um... Hugh Jackman. Yeah. I thought it was fine. But, of course, I like the musical itself more. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it, though. I thought it was fine. <laughs> the Greatest Showman? Yeah, that guy, that guy. The Great Showman guy. Oh, well, yeah, the... <laughs> you remember chat losing it with the Shrek songs during the musical karaoke. Shrek the Musical. That's a real thing, and I actually, I did go to see it. A friend invited me to go see it with them. <laughs> yeah, Shrek Musicals, yeah, pretty fun. <laughs> when is EN producing a musical? Bet we could do it. We have, we have the members that would put in the work for it, I think. I think that Nerissa would want to, and then and then me, and I think Mume could also come up with some some things. Who else is like a big musical theater buff? I wonder. Hmm. 
because I was a big theater kid. As you can probably tell, I think I have that, I can't conceal it, that theater kid energy. I definitely got it. I got it. Is, is Kiara a big musical fan? I know she loves cats, but I didn't know that she was like a, a big like theater person. Mm. Yeah, could be fun. And theater kids rising up. Mm. The Hamilton watch along was great. We just decided to watch it out of nowhere. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Hamilton watch along, and we just did it out of nowhere. Mm. I know Bay does like Phantom of the Opera. She can hold that really high note, Phantom of the Opera high note. Mm. Yeah. Pull alive on ice. I want to see that that big. How do I say? Mascot version of Miko. Mikochi. Skating around on ice. And then Smo Ame as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dr. Horrible sing-along blog. I remember that. That was really big amongst the theater kids. They were all like recommending it to each other and stuff. <laughs> Miko Danie. Mikodani? Yeah. Small on there. All the smalls. Been dead in your eyes while it happens, yeah. Thank you, Sarlacc. I'm glad I can make you smile. I'm gonna do it again. Hold on. Here I go. And nothing has changed since middle school. I'm still here being a clown and being silly to make people laugh. <laughs> Nothing's changed. I'm always gonna be the stupid, silly class clown. Maybe. Just a little more disillusioned. Because I'm a grown up. Nothing's changed except now there are a lot of people here. <laughs> well, I feel like my audience is a lot kinder now, that's for sure. I'm lucky. May I have this dance? 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 <laughs> May I have this dance? <laughs> I'm such a clown. Why am I such a clown? I can't help it. I can't help but get a little silly on stream. It's how I pass myself off as a, hum a normal human being in the real world. Because I take off the filter here and I'm just silly. Kinda nice. In the real world, you just see normal girl. Cause I come here and mess around and I'm all kinds of silly. Hold on, is it time for a neck crack? That was kinda nice. Silly goose. That's like something Mama Mori would say. She'd be like, oh, you silly goose. Are gooses really that silly? Sorry, geese. <laughs> ah, they're gonna make fun of me for that. I didn't say gooses. It was a, it was an accident. I, I know that it's geese. I know. Stop. No, they're all saying gooses now. Geese. I know that they're geese. I know. I knew that. Some are very, very violent. Yeah, I was attacked by them when I was extra young. I just wanted to feed them bread. But they wanted to feed on me, and they made that very apparent. Yep. Mama Mori had to, like, bat them away and, like, kick at them to get them to go away and leave me alone. Yeah, they can be really violent. Why are they so mean? Acting like they own the lake. I mean, they kind of do, but they're also the ducks, and ducks are a lot less mean. 
What is it about geese? They're just obnoxious. They're very territorial. I just wanted to give them food. Maybe they didn't need my charity. They're telling me that they didn't need my handouts. Fair enough. Isn't this a nice room? We can see not Tokyo Tower very well. All lit up and the stars are glittering in the sky while it changes color for winter. It's pretty chill. You guys have seen pretty much all of my room by now, but look. It's not that I just have those albums always hanging out there. I was just getting nostalgic. I'm not that narcissistic, I promise. They were just there. But I do like to keep the records on the wall because I guess it is a nice reminder of what, what I've done and of course my guitar. Sorry, not guitar. It's not a guitar, it's a bass. Is that five strings though? No, I think it's four. It's hard for me to count. Like, it's hard to tell. It's a bass. Where's my play button? It's above my, it's above my computer monitor, so you can't see it. But then back there is like my couch. It looks like a bed, but it's just a really big couch. And then there's a big like chill spot, but it's not the same. It's just a place to lay back. Goose's diss track. Is that gonna is that gonna be the next peanut butter in my bathroom sink? Slash bread wrap? Oh man. We really gotta finish the studio versions of those, or else the deadbeats are gonna riot. I know they're waiting for it. I know you guys are waiting. I won't keep you waiting for too long. I promise. I promise. We'll get you the studio version. But recently I've been working on a new shorts project that I think I don't think you guys will see for a little bit because I'm I'm working really hard on getting the material done for it, but in order to like improve my singing and stuff like that, I've decided to do something that's kind of like Well remember when I asked you guys about songs that you guys wanted to hear me sing, right? I asked you guys about that. And the reason is, um the reason is because I want to do something that's like Kind of similar to the first take, um, but you know, my own thing, and of course it's not the first take because that is a copyrighted thing that I would never try to rip off or anything like that, but I'm trying to just like sing songs for shorts, and, and I'm challenging myself to just do it in one take, and then, yeah, I'll throw on like some EQ to like make it sound nice, but like won't really tune it or anything like that, you know? Add a little tasteful reverb, um, and then <laughs> the fourth take? Well, no, I'll probably do a bunch of takes, so it really isn't the first take, but It'll be a bunch of takes, but then I won't splice it up or anything like that. I'll just choose the take that I like the best. And then I'll sing it in 3D and then upload it. Yeah. So, so I'm excited. The last take, the take I like best. I think what I'm calling it is, is reap in one take. But that, that's not the first take. It is one though, it's gonna be one. I'm not gonna splice it together or anything like that. It'll just be the, the one take. The best take. <laughs> but the chosen take, I can't call it that though. I can't call it that. <laughs> Cause it's too close. <laughs> the take that I like the best take. <laughs> the take that Mori liked best. So I'm just calling it reap in one take. <laughs> this take in particular. <laughs> Yeah, something, something like that. So yeah, I'm recording material for that recently. I tried doing a little bit of that recently. Mm. But yeah, but, but mostly for these, what I'm doing is I'm doing like maybe half of the first verse and then into the chorus, right? I kind of want some, some Japanese rap ones, I think. Cause that's, I really want to practice that a lot and like prove that I can do it well, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it's your first time here. Welcome. We're just hanging out. What a, what a first stream to come in on. <laughs> I feel like I've been a little crazier than usual today, but 
but not crazier than I've always been, if that makes any sense. I feel like I've calmed down quite a bit recently in the past year, but when it comes to Zatadan, the words just flow. <laughs> like a fountain. I can just talk about whatever. But there are still some memes that I can't hold a candle to, so I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> I feel like one thing that, that I notice is that I think some folks, some folks think that like when I, when I collab with others, I'm like a little more like muted and like held back. And that is because I am. Yeah. These days I feel like, at least for me, the way that I feel about it is when I collaborate with others, I want to match their energy. You know? I think that's fine though, cause it's still me. I'm still being myself, even if I have to be a little more careful. You know? Cause I don't want to scare him away. And I also, you know, people that have gotten used to like watching their Oshi and stuff like that, I don't want to have them be taken aback, you know, by the sudden change in energy. So I try to match the energy, but it's still me. That's how I go about most social situations anyway. I try to match the energy, but still be myself. Yeah. So it, it's not that I, that I feel scared to like be myself or anything like that. I just, I want to match the energy. Mm hmm. Personally. But that's just my own way of thinking about it. <laughs> I remember Knife Fight. That's a blast of the past. I remember when I had that on my iPod and listened to it unironically. Oh, I miss old internet songs. Yeah. New internet songs just don't catch my fancy like the old ones. I guess that's just a part of history I'm gonna have to leave in the past. Oh well. But yeah. I feel like... Now that I'm kind of, how do I say? I'm really trying to, it's not that I'm, I'm like taken aback by it or I feel like I have a responsibility, but I'm really getting, I'm getting comfortable in like the role of like die die senpai for EN, you know? So I want to really welcome everybody and be like super welcoming, you know? But to do that, I feel like I want my energy to like match the person that I'm with. You know? So for like more low key and chill members, I'm not gonna go in screaming and yelling and being completely unhinged. But if someone's fairly unhinged, I might I might be able to, to meet him there. <laughs> it's called Persona. There's a video game about this actually. First to debut in EN, actually though, yeah. If you put it that way, I mean, me and all the, the myth girls are definitely, we, we all are the, the first in the end, that's for sure. But if you're going by debut order, if you look at, if you look at that website that has all of us there. <laughs> Mori does, more, it, it does start from Mori and goes from the rest, but I don't really read it that way. <laughs> One of the least unhinged in EN now. Well, yeah, it's bound to happen when you get a bunch of new people, right? Hmm. But yeah. So I like being Dai Dai Senpai. I feel like, like as more, as more folks maybe join us in the future and whatnot, I want to be just as welcoming to all of them too. You know? Because everybody, everybody deserves to, to feel like they have a friend outside of their their own gen and stuff like that you know and can like ease into getting to know everybody and and be friends with everybody slowly but surely um slowly but surely sometimes it takes it takes something like just i don't know what one person being friendly sometimes i wish when i was in school people would have reached out to me and helped me get into like i don't know get to meet more people and stuff like that so you want to wel welcome people, I guess. Well, I, I want to welcome people. I want to be, I want to be welcoming. But yeah. <laughs> it takes courage and kindness. Yeah, definitely can be scary. There are lots of, you know, scary thoughts that, that go through my head when I'm like, I want to, I want to talk to, to more people and, you know, hang out with them more and stuff like that. But, but I fight those scary thoughts. Hmm. And, and do it anyway. Because I love having friends. And I, I love helping people feel welcome. I want to welcome everybody. 
Mm. It's... It can be scary to feel alone, you know? Doing what we do. As long as we have each other, though. There's little to worry about. Okay, well, maybe not little, because being an idol is tough. <laughs> it really is. It's, it's full of really difficult things. Like, it can be really, really difficult in many different ways. Mm. Yeah, but if we have each other, then it becomes a lot easier. Dang, am I really becoming a freaking father figure? Back up. Get the weenies off the grill. Jesus, Mori. Dang it. Yeah, maybe I am the father, huh? <laughs> yeah, becoming. Always worried. No, no, no. Yeah. It's a lot of work behind the scenes. We can't exactly share every single detail of everything that we're working on behind the scenes, because don't you think it might ruin the magic a little bit? <laughs> Either that or just, you know, there are some secrets that we'll take to the grave. Because that's just how it is. But I'm having fun. Yeah. Something called NDA that I will never break. Ever. Production secrets. That no one will ever know! knowledge yep but I can be trusted mm -hmm. I'm just really bad at keeping secrets about what I'm doing <laughs> that's my that's my uh, place where I <laughs> fall short is I always give too many hints about like things that I'm releasing or doing except I've been pretty good with the really big thing that's coming up before the fest. I've been pretty good with that. But I still think some people have maybe found out. <laughs> maybe some people have found out anyway. But but not specifics. What thing? There's a thing! And I'll never tell you exactly what it is. But it's really big. And then there's another big thing. And then there's another even huger thing. There's a lot of big things. <laughs> But it takes a while. And if it takes a while, that's how you know it's really big. <laughs> yep. Something that's been in the works for over a year. It's going to finally be revealed. Mm. It definitely... It's been bad for my heart, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to tackle it. Because I think a lot of doors, a lot of doors are really going to open up after that. And I'm very like doki doki about it. And I don't know, I keep thinking to myself, like, do I, do I really have like the, does my heart have the strength to be able to, to keep it together with how big it is? I don't know. But I do know that if I have you guys cheering for me, right? And believing in me, then, then I can't fail. And I was thinking about, about like you guys saying things, right? In the chat, like, relax, you got this, you can do it, we believe in you. Thinking about that, sometimes that's the only thing that gets me to like chill out, you know? And think maybe it will be okay. Thanks to you guys. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably cry. Cry out of fear and excitement. That's how you that's how you know that that you've done something kind of insane when you're not just crying out of exci excitement but also there's some scary tears too. You know. Mm. But anyway, Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to worry because it's, you know, it's less, less than a month away now. E ah. Ah. I'm gonna Dean scream on you guys. Ah. Yeah. Will you guys still support me if I accidentally Dean scream at you? Or when the announcement comes out officially? Will you still support me and, and vote for Mori? <laughs> 
If I Dean scream at you, yes, absolutely. I saw somebody say no. No. Oh, there's an honest deadbeat. All right, I, I can appreciate it. Oh, Callie will never win the primary, but she'll try. It's that strength of spirit th that we admire, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll just pretend that you did it intentionally. Right. You guys are kind. If I ever do anything embarrassing like that, just think to yourself, oh yeah, this is Mori just doing this on purpose. She's definitely pulling our legs. That's what I need you to do. Okay? Proud deadbeat present will always be here for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. As long as I can make you guys proud, I'm happy. You know? I think... I don't know. I have a lot of... I have a lot of strong feelings. Um, especially when it comes to, like, deadbeats. Maybe I shouldn't, like, you know, like, worry so much. And, like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of times... I told you guys, I don't really... I don't really care too much. Don't really kind of want to be in the spotlight. Don't really... Don't really like that very much. Because I get anxious. Right? But... My feeling is... The more that I do well, and the more that I succeed, the more that deadbeats get to say, Hey, look what my Yoshi did, you know? The more that, that deadbeats feel like... Like, valid, and I'm glad that, that I support... Mori. So these days, a lot of times, I'm really trying to be successful so that I can give you that... You know? one of the but then then I end up getting put in the spotlight and it's kind of scary <laughs> we can brag about your success to put it really I guess that's the really blunt way of putting it I just want I want you guys to be able to, to do that you know but but I shouldn't stress myself out about it because I know you guys wouldn't want me to do that I know you guys don't want me to to stress about that that's kind, but don't feel pressured on our account. Yeah, I, I know that, that you guys don't want me to feel that way. You know, and all worried about that, but it, it's one of the main things that drives me these days. It keeps me wanting to succeed and do well. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna do my best. You'll see. I'll make you extra proud. I know that I will. Mori, I'm already proud of my Reaper Oshi. I'm gonna make you prouder. You'll see. I bet you can't think- I, I bet you can't even imagine it. But you'll see. You're gonna be like, whoa, no way. That's my Yoshi. I knew it. Yup. I'm working hard. Yeah. But- but streaming long games is a little bit- <laughs> This is a little bit different because <laughs> that's just me. That's just me having fun. I like playing long games on stream because I feel like I'm not necessarily striving towards like a particular goal or anything. We're all just hanging out playing games, you know? Thanks a lot, Bren. Finishing up your studies? Best of luck. Yeah, that's my Yoshi having fun. Woo! But, but it really is. I want to get it less from, like, me running away from, like, my problems and things that, like, scare me and stuff like that. Um... Instead... Instead, I want to try and be more positive about it, you know? Not in, like, an unrealistic and fake way, but in, like, a... Maybe just don't think too hard about it, Mori. As long as I'm doing things like still playing with my cats, making sure they're happy, too, then... Should be fine, right? And taking care of myself. Hmm. Yeah. Who plays games not to have fun? Uh, I think some people are pretty similar to me in that we play them to escape. <laughs> to run away! <laughs> From real life. Yeah. It happens. But, but that's okay. 
I think I think too much about it. I need to stop thinking so hard about it, overanalyzing it. Why do you really stream, Mori? Why do you stream eight hours a day for Persona, etc.? It's to run away from your responsibilities, and real life is so scary. Yeah, sure, maybe it is, but maybe I just want to play a game. Chill. <laughs> Chill out, it's not that deep. <laughs> I think way too much about everything. You gotta stop. It's fun, that's all the explanation that I need. As long as I'm still getting my real life stuff done and attending to it, who cares if I play video games for a long time? Whatever. Yeah. Thinking about it isn't wrong. Yeah, I guess not. I guess it's natural, but... I try not to overanalyze it too much. Yeah. One of the main reasons for the past couple of days I've been kind of chill and just hanging out with my cats is because I feel very anxious these days. And I've always had trouble with being anxious. It's, it's always been like a very, yeah, strong feeling for me, anxious feeling, right? Yeah, they have a word for it. It's called anxiety, but it's been getting a lot better. I think just recently it got kind of, kind of intense and I was surprised by it. I was like, whoa, why do I all of a sudden feel this way? So I decided to take some time off and be with my cats. And then one of the days I took off, I was like, why am I not streaming right now? And then I started to feel worse. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah, it caught me off guard. Because it felt like that, that was when I really kind of started thinking like, oh, maybe I am just streaming a lot to run away from my things. Yeah. But I don't think it's that deep. I think just sometimes my, my anxiety flares up. Can you believe that death is anxious? What does death have to be anxious about? Hmm? Not killing people? Nah. Maybe death is human after all. Taxes. Oh, that's a really good point. You know, I have been talking to my, my, my accountant every single day for about two hours a day. So that's been kind of rough. <laughs> it doesn't help. Because there's nothing particularly scary in that regard, but it's, you know, it's just yeah, adult things. Not the IRS. They definitely don't help. <laughs> Yeah. Why though? <laughs> uh, well, thankfully the tax situation isn't as crazy as I thought that it was. When I, when I spoke about it that one time and the deadbeats in chat were like, what are you talking about, Maury? You don't need to pay two times your taxes, dummy. I didn't. Don't worry. I figured out my stuff really quick after that. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just a lot of work, you know? Because being, being American slash underworldian and living in Japan, it means the process is a lot longer. You don't pay more money, but it, it takes so much longer to figure out your stuff. And then you have to pay the accountant. And it's like, man, for the extra work too, there are fees. But you save money. You have an accountant, so... The deadbeats control, but they also cut your back. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of a lot of decent advice scattered about the chat, scattered about in between all the WTFs and what the heck that's wrong. <laughs> and that's not how that works. But yeah, are taxes cheaper in Japan? No, I think it's worse. I think it's worse. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I won't. Well, I will not say anything about where I stand or where I am, etc. Um, and it's public knowledge. Everybody knows in Japan the top tax bracket um, is fifty-five percent of your income goes to the government. That's public knowledge. 
Everyone knows that. That's the top tax bracket. And the top tax bracket is pretty low. Not saying where I fall though, because that's private. But yeah, 55%. Yup. It's not a secret. Just to clarify for the third time. <laughs> Right, pretty low? Yeah, I would say. Well, I say I say pretty low because we're we're thinking about the existence of like millionaires and stuff like that. Billionaires and like big big CEOs and stuff like that, right? Well, they definitely qualify for the tax bracket, but the top tax bracket is actually much, much lower than anything that they make. Yeah. Right. Mm hmm Top of the tax bracket is not in the millions. It's also not even in, like, the upper half of the six figures. Mm. Millionaires? Like, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> I'm not a millionaire. But I, I'm doing great. And that's all you need to know. I'm privileged. I'm lucky. I'm doing just fine. You guys don't have to worry. You guys don't have to worry if I'm a millionaire. I'm more, more, more alienaire. A morillionaire. <laughs> I'm not a millionaire. I'm a billionaire. <laughs> I love money. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a just, just to clarify. Just to clarify. Where's my private jet? Where is it? It's on Shadow Moses. You'll never find it. Tanaka, is that you? Tanaka's not a billionaire. He's not a millionaire, and he's not in the top tax bracket. Money for the money lover. Wow, that's money. <laughs> I love money. Thank you. Thank you for the red super chat. Are you based? I don't know. Do based people love money? Thank you for the red super chat. And thank you, Furky Furky, as well. It's not a joke. Someone will take it out of context. Ah, uh, that's all right. That just happens. That just happens when you do this. <laughs> that just happens. Do you remember Kiara dreaming about renting a private jet with the rest of Myth? As in she had a dream about it? Or that's a goal that she's wishing to attain? Because that's... <laughs> Quick, increase her tax bracket. No, please don't. <laughs> please don't. But also, thank you. <laughs> but please don't. In the myth private jet. Pretty sure it was an actual dream, right? <laughs> ah, thank you for super chats, you guys. I'll make sure that I give you guys the proper shout outs at the end, don't you worry. Minor celebrity. minor celebrities that you know are probably doing fine. I can't speak for all of them, but I can speak for me. I'm doing good. That's all you need to know. All you need to know is that I'm doing just fine. I'm definitely trying to focus on like saving up for the future and being a really old reaper someday. 401k and stuff like that, that's scary. That's scary stuff to try and figure out, especially, especially when you're an entertainer on the internet. Because as good as things are right now, ah, as good as things are right now, you never know when everything will just, I mean, I don't want to say blow apart. It doesn't even need to all blow apart, but it's an unstable job. That's for sure. The people that work nine to fives in offices and stuff like that, I tell you what, they do have a stable job, but, but I'm a very stable human. So I think, who knows? I think it could be fine. Reporting the tax bracket now, let's go. Saving for being old can be too long to care. What if I can still work when I'm old? This is the kind of nice thing about what if I get into producing music, right? If you're a mixer, you can work forever until your ears stop working. Okay, never mind. But then illustration until your hands stop. Okay, well, if I was a producer, though, like a talent producer, that's something I could do until I die, right? With all the tips and tricks that I've learned, about being an artist, managing artists, keeping up with the times. Well, thank you, Nani the F word. Keeping up with trends. 
right? Keeping up with exploiting? No, 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 no. Didn't say that. <laughs> More like how to not exploit. I mean, that's something that you'll learn regardless of what's what's happening to you, right? Because if you're being exploited, you learn to not do those things. And if you're not being exploited, you learn to copy that example. That's definitely how I'd do it, you know? I already kind of mentioned that that's something that I kind of want to do for EN at some point, but... I'm, so, I'm slowly but surely working on it. But... Yeah, all the stuff that I've learned, I could do that until I'm I'm old and you know, I could be like an old granny reaper. Still looking like this, of course, though, because that's just how how it goes. When you're old and you're an immortal being. And I could be chilling in like a um a wheelchair or like a roll around bed and giving advice and managing talent anyway. So yeah, I feel like maybe that's the natural progression of things, right? You go and you make your, your dreams come true as a talent and you scale every wall and you topple every tower and every single thing in your way. You live your dreams, you make a bunch of music for for media and and you accomplish everything you want to do. And then, yeah, you buy the gamer bed and you become a producer for other people. And then you help new talent. Sounds like an idol master plot. Yeah, I guess so. So that's the natural progression of things, but I still have too much I want to do. So that part of my life is I'm not thinking about it, but I like to have it as something in the back of my mind to just know that I have, no matter what. Maybe so that I don't get scared that there's no stability. I still have so much knowledge. Be amphibious. Wait, no, ambitious. <laughs> Be amphibious. Mori turned crazy frog. Amphibians must have it kind of nice, though. Just chill in the lake. Be slimy. Don't have to worry about things. Kind of like cats. Just the little things that keep us going. Be amphibious. Did anyone suggest Crazy Frog for karaoke? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Because Crazy Frog was on the brain. I think a deadbeat brought it up, but I'm not sure where. Anyway. What a blast from the past. Darude Sandstorm? Anyway. <laughs> Get kissed by random princesses? You are listening to Full Moko Radio. What? Can't do it. No one can. Only Mogogo. How she do it? It's such a, it's such a. <laughs> it's exactly what she says. That is the sound. That is the sound that that she does. <laughs> it's literally a Mogogo. It's literally, that's it! <laughs> it's such a mogogoism. Mogogo mogo chan! Mogo chan. <laughs> Who else do I end up using the G with when I say their name? Oh, Bibu. Someone with a, a giwawa? Yeah. Giwawa. Mogogo. Who else with a K? Uh, Kira, no, Gura already has a G in her, in her name. It's a Gobo! Kobo, Gobo. <laughs> the K, the K sound, it always turns into a, into a G and then you get Liope. G. Groany. <laughs> Groany. I don't think I've ever called her that. It ends up being Kowoni or something like that. It was Gobo. 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 Giwawa. Mogogo. Mogogo. 
Mogo chan. Gobo. Gobo and Wagogo. How did that happen? <laughs> Groany. <laughs> I don't think she'd like that very much. Well, maybe she will. Maybe she'll think it's funny. Groany. Groany sent me a wonderful gift. Yeah, she she mailed me some fantastic face products. Wasn't that nice? She she mailed me like some 24k gold like a uh, moisturizer, like a whole like face thing. Like I have a whole new skincare routine. Thanks to Groany. Now I can have perfect skin like Groany. Though to be honest, I feel like my my skin has always been very like I've never really had a lot of really bad I'm like acne problems as soon as I exited the high school. Yeah, 24k gold. Is is that expensive? I think it is. I think it is, but she mailed that to me and I really appreciate it. Rony, thank you for the skincare products. I'm absolutely glowing. Deadbeats can confirm. Look at me glow. Yeah, it's the the snail stuff. Why do they call it snail? It's like sna snail emulsion or something like that. 24K gold. Yeah. Glowing from radiation. Because it's made from snails. Is it really made from snails? Aw, poor snails. Thanks for making my face nice, though. I use the snail goo. It's kind of crazy if it actually does help, but I, I have noticed that my face is glowing these days. It's all thanks to Groany. Hmm. Yeah. So many, so many other members, like, give me presents and stuff like that, and I really appreciate it, so I'm trying to come up with, with, like, a closet full of presents to save for everybody whenever they come to Japan. And I'm gonna hand them out, like, like I'm a, an old lady handing out candy at a retirement home. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what I should get for everybody. I don't think it needs to be something specific to Japan. Just something based on what, what they like. I'm a really good gift giver. I'm pretty good at finding out what people like. You know, that's a mom thing to do. <laughs> it's just because I'm grateful because because they always give me presents and I feel like I feel bad because I'm like, I want to find the perfect present for you, you know? Maybe I'll just make a trip to Lush. But you know, Lush, bath bombs, they can expire. So I'll need to time it right when I know that they're gonna come. Mm. More Santa. Santa? Or Satan? Maybe both. Just trying to be thoughtful. I guess. Maybe I'm too gift givey. <laughs> You gotta stop that. Satan's little helper. It's your Mori. Satan's little helper. Just wrap yourself in a bow. Only a bow. Oh, I don't know. That sounds embarrassing. Maybe if I hide myself in a cake first. Yeah. You the red nose reaper. I'm no tumbler character. You won't catch a red nose on me. Look at this nose. Oh, wow. I got too close. I disappeared. See, my nose isn't red. It's only slightly pink. How is that less embarrassing? Well, maybe the frosting covers up most of my body, so it's chill. It's just like I'm wearing clothes. What nose? What do you mean, what nose? Look at it. It's shiny. I know you see that line. Look at it move back and forth. Sniff. It's how I smell. It's how I can smell everyone. All you. That beats smell like... Dust. Because you guys are bones. That's what bone meal smells like. Yeah, bones. I smell bones. Yeah. Hope you're not allergic to dust. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze thanks to you guys. Uh, uh, it's gone. 
the sneeze went away. Quick, rattle her, boys! No! I'm the one who rattles, not you. I'm the one who rattles. Just so we're all on the same page. Hate that. Yeah, when you're denied a sneeze. But sneezing feels great, to be honest. So when you're denied a sneeze, it's like, it feels unfair. Because you were really looking forward to that sneeze, right? Now it's gone. Oh well, not your fault. Maybe I could pull my hair up really quick. Prank! Whoa! Crazy how that works. The bed head is supposed to come out when I've already slept. And yet, I kept it kind of messy just for you guys. I just love the way that they float. When I want them to be extra wavy. Prank! My prank tails. But then if I do it too much, my hair is gonna get all messy, right? And then, ah! I moved them around too much back and forth. Oh, crown. Take it off. Hair pin. A. It's a nice pin, don't you think? It doesn't really have much of a function, though. Zoom in on him. What's that deadbeat thinking about? He's thinking more his hair smells nice. I did just get out of the tub. I think it does smell kind of nice. It's there to be cute. Look, there are four skulls on me right now, look. Joker, earrings, clip. I'm the skull girl. Daikot's madam. Check it. He's living the good life. Smells like strawberries. Maybe rose water? Hmm. I smell like Old Spice. Okay, well, that's also not wrong. I do like Old Spice. I'm out of my Old Spice, though, so I just got, like, a typical brand. Yeah. Gotta make sure you smell good every day. I've got, like, five different perfumes that I choose from whenever I exit my home. I don't really pay attention to what they are, though, or what I particularly feel like. What I particularly feel like smelling that day, I don't really pay, <laughs> I don't pay too much attention to it. Just whatever smells nice, I pick a random one, I'm like, mmm, perfume gotcha. Wolf spirit or bear claw? Bear claw's good too. Yeah, bear claw or Fiji. What a great mix. I'm gonna make more mixes like this. What time is it? Well, it's past midnight. It's past midnight? I'm trying to decide what I wanna do tomorrow. Cause I have another recording, right? I have song recordings that I have to do, so doing another long persona stream is not gonna be possible. So I'm thinking, what if we did like a Japanese stream or something like that? I don't know. Hmm, maybe. You prefer swagger to be honest? Yeah, that one's fine. I just don't think that it matches as a Mori send. Go to bed now! Maybe I will. Maybe. Japanese stream, please! Duh. Yeah, since it turns out the membership stream is not tomorrow, but the next day. Before Poppy. And Poppy will be with Bay, and it will be chapter three. look forward to it. Have I tried Shark Hammer? Can't say I have. Is that a new one? I kind of stopped. I stopped using Old Spice at a certain point because I was kind of like, oh, how did I feel about it? It was weird. I I felt like um, it was like a late high school college thing where I was kind of like, you know, dude's deodorant's much like stronger smell and I want people to smell that and be like, Hey, 
she kind of quirky though. And then I stopped being like that. But the deodorant lasts a really long time, so like I kept it. You know, and just kept using it. <laughs> She's not like the other girls. She wears Old Spice and smokes cigars on the bridge. What an interesting, mysterious madame. I'd love to learn more about her. And maybe, I don't know, be her friend or something like that. <sighs> Mission failed, trying to be cool, mysterious woman. Guess we all have those times. Well, maybe not, maybe not all of you. Maybe you guys were born cool. Well, I wish I was born cool. Oh well. I just wanted to make friends, I guess. I went about it the wrong way, though. But hey, when you're young and you're insecure and you don't really know a lot, that tends to happen, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> cool in my books. We're bad to the bone. I promise I'm bad to the bone. I probably just scared people away, though. They probably were mega intimidated by me and were like, um, actually, I don't think I want to be your friend. She smells like, like dude spice and cigars are icky. <laughs> what a silly thing. She's also dressed in all black, high heeled boots and tights, though I, I still dress in all black. Cause it's just it's just the best easiest color to throw on but but my my style is quite a bit different i i'm pretty loose these days you know i like the big sweatpants and the big shirts um or you know this this dress here is pretty nice this dress is nice it's also black i like the blacks and dark reds i heel boots you say yeah but I was in like a super hyper goth phase. Only thing I didn't have was black lipstick cause it's too, too much for me. I, w I wouldn't go there, but very intense eye makeup and like uh, black tights, very edgy. Yeah, slip knot shirt, like tied, at the, tied back at the waist with like, you know, black skirt and like all gothic fashion, goth mori. Like the arm warmers and everything. Yup, and dark pink hair. I like light though, light suits me better. But my, my current hair definitely, it suits me. Look. It became brighter and so did my spirit. Yeah. No, but these days, now that I have my shit together, right? I think to myself, maybe I could pull off a little more goth fashion again, but just not as intense and you know, a, a little less like, hey, I'm dressing this way because I want to seem cool and mysterious and make friends. Um, and more in like a, oh, you know, maybe like just a fashionable way. When I go meet friends, confidence is everything. No insecurity in my slightly gothic outfit. I think I could pull it off, but there's some things I want to do first. Yeah, work on myself, you know? I want, I want more toned legs. Yeah, so I'm working on toning my legs right now. Hmm. <laughs> it is easier to get away with the, the goth vibe if you're a, yeah, silly, silly guy cocogens. Those silly guy cocogens are so crazy and kind of wacky. Hmm. I also feel like the, the term, the term like goth is like, People think about it in like a different way. Hmm. You know? Everybody kind of seems to have a different definition of the word, the word goth. Don't skip leg day. It's important. Some mistake it for emo. Yeah. So I guess, I don't know, you gotta pick your words. Will you collab again with Shiori? Of course. Well, we kind of sort of halfway-ish collabed recently, right? Ish. Ish. She, she helped me get through Poppy Chapter 2. That was nice. My 
appreciated it. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of lag going on, though. We gotta fix that before the next, the next chapter. helped <laughs> yeah it may have it may have been a more intense <laughs> not quite uh, she definitely made it entertaining yeah that was something it was fun though she does not hold back that's for sure yeah, but the next chapter is apparently pretty long, so I don't think that Bay and I will play it for a super long time. We can we can break it up into parts. I've got nothing wrong with that. Hmm. I wonder what it would take to scare her. I too wonder. Hmm. Guess we gotta find out together. I want to find out. I think it might be kind of hard though. <laughs> might be kind of hard to scare her. I feel like she's seen it all. Will there be more drawings after the finished ones? Well, we're doing Deadbeat Sonos, right? So it'll be similar. I don't think I'll need to close the, the supas for that for like a while. Maybe I can let it ride for like a couple minutes even. But yeah. Basically, there will be like a bunch of different like templates to choose from for like deadbeat Sona is esh ish esque poses and then you choose one and then like give me the deets and then I'll draw you like a deadbeat. I mean, I draw I'll draw you as a deadbeat. You are a deadbeat. I'll draw you. Yeah, it'll be kind of different than what we've done up until now. Did you get the rules approved for voice acting super chat requests? Yeah, everything seems fine on that end. But I do want to finish, uh, yeah, drawings first for sure. Before I open those up. That probably, honestly, that probably won't take too much time, I bet. Bet we could do that pretty quick. Bet we could do that in, like, one stream. Like, even before we do the deadbeat sonas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. I'm happy to draw a gazillion deadbeats. Especially if I have like the template already laid out. It won't be fully colored. It'll be like the like the sketch style thing that we did for the drawing request. But if you want to have somebody, if you want to have somebody do it for you, like finish it up, I say go for it. It's all a part of my voice acting training arc. Mm. Yeah, got to get those reps in. Help me deadbeats, help me. Did I take classes to draw? Nope, just taught myself, but... I mean, these days I feel like with the internet, it's not that hard to learn how to draw. As long as you know what to look up, and you practice a lot. Practice makes... not necessarily perfect, but... It certainly helps. If you do it, like, every day. You know? Road to a gazillion subs? <laughs> Maybe someday we'll get to three million, but I have to grind. And I gotta grow. Grow growing is scary. <laughs> growing is scary. Growing is... It's pretty terrifying. But... We gotta try. We gotta try. Because sometimes I look at the way that things are and I'm happy with the way that things are. <laughs> I'm happy with the way that things are now. <laughs> you know? The thought of grinding super hard to reach like a massive audience or whatever, it kind of scares me, but I feel like I'd prefer that it just be something that happens naturally, but it's tough to have that be something that just happens naturally, you know? I feel like these days if you want to like pop. You need to do something, like, really significant that, like, puts a lot of eyes on you and stuff like that, right? I don't really know. <laughs> you, you guys already know how I feel about a bunch of eyes on me and stuff like that. I just, I just want to chill right now. I want to be calm and have things stay calm. Yeah, I like the calm. 
but I'm just gonna keep being me and doing what I do best. I do want to make a bunch more covers and do a bunch of those music short things just because those are things that I want to do. You know? They're just things that I that I want. That I projects that I want to make. Not for any particular purpose, but just because I want to make them. We'll see what happens. Sahel gets turned to 11 for fest time. True. Suddenly after Fess, a lot of eyes, I think, suddenly get onto EN and, and ID, eyes that, that maybe are, you know, usually always kind of on like main bridge, suddenly are looking at us and they're like, whoa, who are these people? You know? So I always feel like you gotta put on a great impression. So I'm certainly working hard right now. Yeah. And be calm, choose violence. Yada, I don't know if my heart can take it, man. I don't know if my heart can take it. Hmm. Jadon, my soul. Every time that you're worried about something, just think Jadon, my soul. Extreme violence. Let's avoid extreme violence. One day at a time. Just keep calm and Jadon my soul. Jadon's so dreamy. I'm always pushing Jadon. <laughs> Too late. Don't know if you're qualified to speak that elite English. We gotta do another English lesson. We gotta. Gotta get some more elite English in there. Maybe I should just have Miko teach me English. We might actually get better at speaking it. Because my AP skills are kind of not really up to snuff, to be completely honest. A Bloodborne remake? I don't know if that- I don't think it needs a remake per se, or even a sequel, but... I do love it very much. Always on my- on my mind in my dreams. Yeah, I just- I don't think that we need it. <laughs> Not till the PS6. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Miko can teach me English, and I'll teach her Japanese. Yeah. That's a great idea. I like that. I'm sure she'll agree. You think she'll be down? Yeah. That could be a good time. Get a little classroom to get teach her some Texan. I don't know if I want to teach any more slang. That could be opening up a whole crazy can of worms. You know? She will literally not learn anything. Well, she doesn't need to learn anything. As long as she's having fun, as long as I'm making Senpai laugh, mission accomplished. So if if all else fails, just just start saying some some funny words in Japanese. You know, it's about the process, yeah. Let there be chaos. I want to hear her say what in tarnation. Okay, let's put that in the back pocket as a possibility for the future. Cause that could, that could be great. That could work super well. Hmm. Freedom Lady Doko. We found her. Yeah, we did. What in, uh, what in tarnation? But you know, all Miko-like. We're just gonna teach everybody what in tarnation. Ghost Cat! Oh, he's squeaking. <laughs> He's got such a cute, high-pitched voice. 
I'm like, are you a manly man boy cat? And then he goes, Squeak. <laughs> He's like a squeaky toy. He squeaks so much. You bring him in, he'll start messing with the cords and he'll break the keyboard and... He thinks he's just having fun, but what he's doing is... He's ruining everything! <laughs> he's ruining everything. So I'm going to bid my thanks to everybody now. And then go be with my, my baby boy. So he says, Mommy, where are you? I need you. Okay. We'll go watch Jojo. <laughs> we'll go watch Jojo together. We'll go watch Jojo. Okay? I know you want to watch Jojo. It's been fun, though. Thanks, everybody, here hanging. Thank you for hanging with me. I'll be back in just a moment, and then we can... we can thank my deadbeats. For those of you heading out, I am your Mori. Remember me if you dare. That's not the line. The line is, I hope you remember me, but remember me if you dare. I guess. The Reaper's not that scary. Otsu. See ya. I'll see those of you that are sticking around for supas very shortly. For the rest of you, enjoy your day. Goodbye. Thanks for talking. I never know how to end these. I'm terrible at ending these.
Whoa, look at them dance. Look at them get down. They're going crazy. They're getting wild. Look at them dance. Look at them dance. That's all of us. Yeah, it's you guys. Look at you guys getting down. Busting a move for me? Oh, that's kind. Thank you. Dang, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Look at those moves. Look at them go. Busting a move. Thank you to all the deadbeats that support me. I'll spend some time giving my proper thanks. I've been taking dance lessons too, it seems. Sure looks like it. Look at those fancy moves. And so coordinated as well. Wow. Deadbeats can be pretty organized. I think so. Rattle me bones. <laughs> okay, D. This is your dance for fifth fest? No. <laughs> no, it's not. My, my dance is... It's a lot less swingy. <laughs> You'll see. We got a big ups to lab it. Thank you. Rest and relax. I can only imagine how tired you are. It's been pretty, pretty crazy. I'm pretty exhausted, but that's okay. This time of year, it always gets kind of crazy. We'll, we'll get through it together. Big ups to Unnif on three. Thank you. And we got a big ups to Andrew for the red super chat. Thank you very much for the Akaspa. Third super chat. Yeah, the 621. I've got a job for you. Hold on a second. I can make this work. 621. I got a job. Wait, hold on a second. 62. Wait, oh, whoops. Hey, ah! 621. I got a job for you. you. Must take up the new call sign, Adam. On 621. No way. <laughs> it is June the 21st. The Elden of Rings calls thy Adam to reprise his role as the Elden Lord of the Age of Stars. Rani awaits your return on 621. Do you think they did that on purpose? I wonder. That is hilarious, though, I will say. That's kind of nutty. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Thank you, Andrew. I didn't know that. Wow, kind of a bit of crazy trivia now, huh? It releases on 621 on purpose. Ugh, it must have been... I mean, there's no other... There's no way that it's coincidence. <laughs> Thank you so much to Biv for the, the membership. Thank you. And Biv again. Can't wait to see Adam's illustrious return in Elden Ring DLC. You and me both, and all of us. Thank you to Zekanator77. Thank you so much for the red super chat. I am here again to give props to a Giga Chat who ought to be reminded of their chadness. Oh boy, here we go. Who is it? A big ups to Marmar. Marmar has talent, and another thing to add to the chad list is her wonton cooking from scratch, which is amazing. Really? Wow. A magician in the kitchen, huh? Marms, you better accept the title while you are well-deserved. Congrats on being good at cooking. Mori can't really relate. All I can make is curry. I can make a pretty good spicy curry, I will say. <laughs> but big ups to you, Marmar. Let's go. And thank you, Zekanator, for the shout-out. I love these cute, friendly shout-outs. <laughs> thank you so much. And again, Zekanator77. Again, thank you so much for yet another red brick. Brick number two. Oh, wait, hold on. There's some... There's some 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 little music notes here <laughs> brick number two to a deadbeat who brings so much joy it's hard not to crack a smile let's keep it together and not feel blue divvy divvy you're such a chad a friend so i ain't gonna pretend that you ain't cute when you say that you aren't for real you're sure oh boy here we go oh man this one's kind of you cooked with this one div incredible all the deadbeats dancing in the background, they were dancing to this tune. Nice lyrics. Nice lyricism, Zekanator. And the biggest of ups to Divi as well. Wow. Sending some messages to shout out your friends? Chad behavior, very cool. Big ups to you, Zekanator77. And thank you so much to Marmar and Divi as well. Wow. How sweet. I love watching friendship before my own eyes. All the best to all you deadbeats. Thank you for being a part of my community. Biggest of ups. Biggest of ups. If, if I could make the ups even bigger, I would. But I can't. <laughs> 
I can only make them so... I can only make the ups so big. You know? How many times have we replaced the big ups emote? I don't think we have. I think the big ups one has been there for like maybe three years. Anyway. Always the biggest of ups to you guys. JPR SNSR, thank you so much. On the 20th, Kat and you reached your 14th anniversary. That's a really long time. That's many years. Whoa. I can't even imagine. Wow. Some deadbeats have been alive for that long. Thank yous from us for filling our days with laughs and fun. Our rough times are almost over. Wow. That's a long time. You're our Kami Oshi. Much love from us both, JP and K. I hope that you have a year that's full of even more incredible adventures together. Wow. A lot of deadbeats younger than that too, what the heck? <laughs> 14 years is so long, I can't even imagine knowing someone for 14 years. What the heck? What the heck? Well, congrats to the both of you. Seriously though, have a wonderful year. We've also got a big up to Sombra, Pac, thank you, what a chat. Michael C, thank you very much, appreciate it, big ups. And a big ups to Archon X, thank you. The 700th stream since you started archiving Super Chats. It'll also be the 58,590th message and the 467th timestamped stream. The stats! Stats nerds are rejoicing right now. Thank you, Archon X, for sharing the info. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of messages. What the heck? 58,590? Wow. That's just so... That The numbers... <laughs> what the heck? The numbers. Stat man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Lad's been at it for a while. Well, thank you so much for all of the help archiving all of these super chats. It has helped me more than you will ever know. Thank you so much. Your wife and you are celebrating your 30th anniversary this year. That is also a very long time. Wow. Well, congrats to both of you. Congrats to you both. That's wonderful. I hope that you share a wonderful 30th anniversary. Big ups. Big ups, big ups to everybody. I'm just handing out big ups like candy, like an old woman handing out candy. Just like I said before, that's my job. It's gonna be my job at some point. Just be, just be an old woman handing out candy and, and ups, I guess, biggest of ups. We've got a big ups too, Donger Bread. Thank you for the vibes. Vampirical Taku, thank you. Thank you to Squookers as well. Excited to listen to my Kami Oshi while I work. I hope it was productive and that you didn't you didn't lose your place at work or anything like that, because I take some crazy tangents. A big ups to Flora Jean, thank you very much, and a big ups to Asas Asas, thank you. Neko no hi. Thank you to Marcus Manessis as well. Appreciate it. Asia Beats, EU Beats haven't been forgotten. Of course not. Of course not. I just usually try to avoid streams at, at this time, but you know, if we're streaming in the evening again tomorrow, it'll be fine. I'm sure I'll get some decent sleep. Hmm. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll test it out. But how can I fall asleep if I'm watching JoJo? Mm. I'm making it hard for myself. A big ups to Marcus Manessis again. Happy National Cat Day. A big ups to Flora Jean. Thank you, Brutus Salad, for the cat emote. Michael C, thank you very much. Happy Cat Day to Tutu and Ghosty. Thank you, Flora Jean and Jesse and Inu Hoshi and Unnit Fawn 3 and Hyun Si Young for the many cats. Look at that barrage of cats just chilling on my stream. Somehow makes everything 10% more cozy per cat. That's pretty dang cozy. Which part, by the way, part two. Part two. I watched uh, part one yesterday. You know, but on Netflix, they group it together, right? Like, they group together part part one and part two into season one, so technically still watching that. Thank you very much to Pixie Misa 777 Thank you, Al Parable, and Sleepy and Sleep Slowly. Thank you very much. A big ups to MinQXX. Thank you so much. Saku-san, arigato. Michael C, thank you very much. And a big ups to Maxwell the first, as well as Nani the... Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
appreciate it. Mori dot dot dot. Even if it's a Mori dot dot dot, I still appreciate it. That won't change. Thank you very much to Din Wiesel. And a big ups to Skavris. I hope I said that okay. Thank you to you, Mirix, KFP's Deadbeat Lizard. Thank you to Fram Veruju, appreciate it. And a big ups to Ulcross. A big ups to Vlad for the red super chat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. A cozy morning chat stream from Aramori is an unexpected but very welcome birthday gift. Strange to think I've grown three whole years and some change since I started following you. Many thanks for everything you do from this Texan deadbeat. Wow, Texas. The homeland. The homeland, good old Texas. The land of barbecue and cowboys and rolling plains that I really didn't see very much because I was a city kid, but... Big ups to you, Vlad. It's been a while, yeah. You know, once I event eventually reach fourth anniversary, it's gonna be like, some deadbeats that entered high school and found out about me will be exiting high school and going to college. It's kind of insane to think about, right? Or, or for college, I guess, too. People entering as freshmen in college will be graduating college. For some, unless they're going on to do more, more things. Turn into dust, all of you guys. These old bones are withering away. Don't wither away on me, deadbeats. Don't. <laughs> Some of you already did that, huh? Kinda crazy. But yeah, and before you know it, I'll be at your doorstep. But you won't be able to predict it. It'll just happen. <laughs> you know? Well, thanks a lot, Vlad. Big ups to you. Keep on keeping on out there, and don't don't you wither away into dust before me, okay? Gotta wait for your Mori. I said it myself. Smells like dust. You just about started college when you found me still going at it, though. Well, good luck out there. You got this. Mori will still continue to be there throughout it, I bet. <laughs> w background? Pretty good. W as in win or W as in LOL? Hard to tell these days. We've got a big ups to Go Channel. Yeah, today's cat day in Japan. Mm hmm. Yep, yes, it is. We will continue celebrating with more JoJo and treats. Still got to get you guys that, that new cat toy and video. Video of the new cat toy and the treats. Mm hmm. Yeah, got to get you guys those videos. But I'm trying to look for the best cat toy ever that'll make like a really fun video that the cats will actually use as like a legitimate toy. Yeah, it's also Okayu's birthday. Of course, being cat day, after all. A oh, big ups to LC Le Pen, thank you. And thank you to Tough Boy Ruffy, and thank you very much. Just finished P3 Reload. And despite having it be having beaten P3 so many times, uh yeah. Lots of lots of sobbing and stuff like that, with lots of cries, lots of tears. I will probably cry too. Tough boy ruffian. Me too. I'm excited though. I don't want it to end, but it won't end for a while. We will be grinding at it for a bit longer. Thank you very much to Dong An. I appreciate it. Daddy's more and more cute with time. Daddy? Just dad is fine. <laughs> You're embarrassing me a little bit, but it's okay. I'll let you get away with it just this one step beat. A big ups to Malang Star. Thank you. Teehee Mori colored super chat. Oh my god. It is me colored, that's for sure. With the pink. And then there's also a tee he in there, though. I ought to strangle you for that. But that's okay. I'll let it go this time. Sangeringo, arigato gozaimasu. Ureshi, so kyo samui ne. Kyo tsukete ne. Kaze hikanai yoni. Ne. Thank you very much, too. Sunday, Sunday. Big ups. And thank you very much, too. Gal channel. How old is Tutu? One year. Isai. Mada mada koneko da. Tutu chan ne. A big ups to Yuros. Yuros. Yuros san. Arigato gozaimasu. And a big ups to Cool Cookie Crazy Guy. I remember a long while back you used to stream at this time. I used to joke that your streams were your coffee. LOL. Good times. Buckins a day. Yeah, we did, huh? <laughs> yeah, we did back in the day. Those were the days, but. And these days I sleep a lot better, so it is what it is, but I do kind of miss this time slot, getting to say hi to you guys and stuff like that. A lot of you guys that are here right now usually have to be kind of VOD gang, right? 
but happy to actually say hello now. A big ups to Salary Man, and a big ups to Dong An, thank you very much. Thank you to Tython, KFP, Legal Eagle, thank you very much. Whoa, taking care of the Mama Eagle after surgery. Figured that you would drop in. Godspeed, Tython. Take care. A big ups to Quiet Rioter. Thank you very much. I appreciate the very kind sentiment. Nick SDB. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And Gao Channel. Thank you very much. Well, if you could get a stando, what would you use? My stando? The Natos from Persona 3. <laughs> Persona Brain Rod. I can really only think of Personas. Thanatos. Persona 3 Thanatos. <laughs> I'll allow that. Yeah, because Thanatos is the coolest. <laughs> Thanatos. Thanatos. I'm not a dummy. Thanato. <laughs> At this point, I'm just going to say it to, to make you guys mad. <laughs> Thanos toes. <laughs> The Nato. <laughs> He's cool though. And we got a big ups to PK5 Iyer, thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy Speedwagon as much as I do. And then let's see, I don't know what this name is, but I'm gonna translate it. Here we go. Not from Spanish, but rather, I'm not sure what this is. is this? It's it's a single kanji. Nue. I'm gonna say Nue. Nyue-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Akaspa, arigatou. Steki desu. Steki desu. Arigatou. Reshi. If you're a social link, what arcana would you have? Death. I mean, it couldn't be anything else. Maybe Empress, but but mostly death. Maybe it's death when you when you know me, and then the more you get to know me, it flips, and then it becomes Empress. Because I'm more than just the Grim Reaper after that. You know? With all the modding that's going on, they should put in a Mori social link. <laughs> Though apparently it's really, really hard to put in social links with the with modding. So yeah, thousand percent improvement over Pharos, you know it. Oh yeah, for the next Persona stream, guys, I did it. I went to to Real Store Wendy's, Real Store Wendy's Persona Wendy's, Wendy's Persona Reload, Collab Wendy's, and a lot of the acrylic stands, they're they're random, right? So it's all random pull like buttons and stands. And I got 10 of each and we're gonna open them on stream for the next Persona stream. Did you get your lemon fries? No, I did not. I refused. I, I didn't get that. I got the wild duck burger though, it was pretty good. I took some good pictures. You guys will see. I'm excited. All Kens, please no. Please God no. A big ups too. John Morris, thank you very much. Been playing the original Final Fantasy VII to hold you over. What a great memory. I love the original. I enjoyed the, the remake as well too, but I'm really excited about the brand new one. Hmm. Yeah, I hope we get a chance to play on stream, but I'll need to finish Persona first. Hey, that just means that you guys can can get the chance to, to speed through it first ahead of me. You know? And then and then watch me do it. <laughs> Which maybe we'll do that with uh, Elden Ring DLC, I don't know. Give you guys a couple days to play it on your own, and then more you'll play it. We'll see. We've got a big ups too, Elsie LePen, thank you! Thank you to the victory over himself. And a big ups to Marcus Manessis yet again. Thank you to Kikito as well. Great, my boss has told me to step into his office now. You reap what you sow, Kikito, you reap what you sow. What do I think about the new P3R soundtrack? I like it. It's good. I think the new vocalist did a wonderful job. Personally, that's how. That's just what I think. A big ups to he who eats faces. Thank you very much. And a big ups to Nick SDB. Thank you. A big ups to Udon Sang. Miso Udon Sang. Wow, it's kushi. Arigatou gozaimasu. Maybe it's oishi. Might be uskushi. Arigatou gozaimasu. Kochira koso. Arigatou. A big ups to Malang Star. And a big ups to Quiet Rioter. Thank you very much. My eye rattle is terrifying. I'll do it again. I'll freaking do it again. This is the Oshi that you chose. Live with your decision. <laughs> anyway. 
Lori's jiggling her eyeballs again. Tell her to stop. It's freaking everyone out. Tell her to stop it. <laughs> We've got a big ups too. Marcus Maness says, thank you, my favorite googly-eyed streamer, Lori Clive. Malaya P. Corey. And thank you to Gao-san. Oppai no tsuita ikemen. Oppai no tsuita ikemen. Oppai no pera pera sous. Oppai no pera pera sous. Thank you, Gao Channel. Thank you very much to Retro Candy. And thank you to Tomonori. Thank you very much. Big up, Subarashi. Arigato. Thank you very much to Kofuyu. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you to Mosanosum. I hope I said it okay. From Soft is a fine cook indeed. They were cooking up something great. I bet it's all going to be worth it. It looks like there's so much content, and you know they didn't even show everything. That definitely was not all the cards that they had ready to play. You know it, right? You know they're hiding some stuff. But they already showed so much. A big ups to Federico S. Thank you. We appreciate the effort. I did my best, but it's still kind of, it's, it's jokes. I should get better at my Spanish. Taco Beat, thank you very much. And a big ups to Lork. Frack. I hope I said your name okay. Thank you to Sarlacc as well. Big ups. Thank you to Insufficiently Anonymous, and a big ups to Asas Asas, and Insufficiently Anonymous again. Thank you. Calvin and Heiko do it. Knife fight. That would be pretty funny. Or like an April Fool's karaoke or something. That could be pretty hilarious. Oh, I have a couple different April Fool's ideas. <laughs> a big ups to Alex Agguili. Thank you very much to Dead Tube. And a big ups to the Rocker Reaper. Thank you very much. Then we've also got a big ups to Brendan. Thank you, hope you're doing well. Hope you are as well. Take your time catching up on the VODs. There's never any rush. I'm not going anywhere. A big ups to Donger Bread. thank you. And a big ups to Marcus Manessas, thank you very much. Thank you to Flora Jean, as well as Dead Tube. Again, five super chats, that's a lot. Don't worry, I'm pacing myself just fine. And feeling great. That's all that matters. I also still want to work hard. Balance in life is important, as you know. <laughs> a big ups to Man Bear Dan. Thank you very much. My Oshi is a gamer god? No, it depends on the game. <laughs> and maybe I'll be fine at it. But I've definitely become more of a gamer since joining Holo. That's for sure. One day I, I will get middle of Tsuyo Cup in Mario Kart. Or maybe someday I'll have the skills to to do even better. We'll see. It was a vast improvement this past year. Oh, uh, big ups too. In the zone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm, I appreciate it. I'll always keep pushing forward. In my own way, right? Sometimes how I push forward... Hmm, it might, it might be... Hmm... Full of tough times, that's for sure. Yeah. And, and there will be a lot of times where I'm like, I don't know which way to go, but I got my debuts and I got my I got my friends. I know it's big shonen protagonist energy, but I'm not I'm not a protagonist type. I'm just floating along. But there's still things I want to do, so maybe my determination gives off that energy. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of things I say end up sounding kind of shonen protagonist esque, but it's just me trying to hype myself up. That's all. I'm just trying to give myself some courage, I guess. That's it. My friends are my power! <laughs> what about your parents, lol? I mean, they're cool. I don't know if they give me power, but I appreciate them. <laughs> my determination. No, I'm just trying to- I'm trying to give myself a pep talk, that's all. That's all. <laughs> Sometimes I have to do that, you know, thinking out loud and stuff like that, I guess. <laughs> We've got a big ups too. V faction! Money for the money lover. I love money! But also at the same time, please don't. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't everybody at least enjoy money to a certain degree? This does help me rent my place. <laughs> this, this does help me with a house purchase. 
I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie and, and sit here and be like, I hate money, it makes me angry! But there are some people that hate money and they, they live without it. I don't know how they do. Because in, in our society, you kind of need it to do things. I, I sound like a kindergartner, a kindergarten teacher. Now, in order to, to live in this world, you need to have something called money. And then I pull out the Monopoly money and we learn about money. <laughs> but thank you so much, V-Faction. All jokes aside, I appreciate the red Akaspa. Wait, not it's not a red Akaspa. It's just an Akaspa or it's a red Super Chat more. You gotta pick one. Me first dime. It can help pay for goods and services. Oh yeah, amongst... Amongst all of my diaries that I found that I, I really need to collect and we need to unpack on stream, I also found my speech, my mayor speech. I got elected as the mayor of, um, there was this, there was this, um, this place where you could go, um, as like a field trip, as like kids. It was one of those places where it's like a fake city and like, you know, everybody elects like a mayor or like a president or a bank president and stuff like that. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deadbeat city. I was voted as mayor despite being bullied extremely. They might have done it as a joke, but I still wrote my speech. Mayor of Clown Town. The mayor of Pawnville. Okay, I guess I deserve that. I hate to tell you, but it's all fake and made up. Wait, what? I wasn't really mayor? Eh? Aw, oh, man. Well, that ruined my day, but you know, I, the, the point is that I found my speech. I found my mayor's speech. I'm gonna read it to you, to you guys. It's very funny. It's, it's very, it's very cute and funny. <laughs> A big ups to Furky Furky, thank you, Marcus Manessis, thank you. A big ups to Larzo, thank you. Kirby super fan, thank you. Supporting the tax bracket right now, you know yada. <laughs> thank you very much too. Nani the f again. Thank you. Please look forward to my performance. I've been practicing very, very hard. I think that you will like it. I think you'll like it. That's all I can say. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really sitting here being like, uh, what can I say? Nothing. Can't say anything about that, actually. <laughs> so just look forward to it. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Well, big ups to Skyrus. Thank you very much. We'll listen to you in the retirement home. I can imagine some deadbeats pulling up those old VODs. Oh yeah, Moe. What's she talking about now? And what if, what if there aren't just VODs? What if I'm just streaming and you guys are just watching? And I'm at the retirement home just streaming, and you guys are at the retirement home just watching. Sounds peaceful. And then before you know it, you're watching my stream, and then suddenly I'm at your doorstep. Hey, Deadbeat. Sorry, I was streaming a second ago. As you know, time to go. <laughs> time to get out of here. We're leaving. We got places to be. <laughs> <laughs> a big ups to ek 5 ir Thank you very much. Loot for the loot goblin. Gimme. A big ups to show me your kitties. Holla holla get dollar. A big ups to, to Nagato. Thank you very much. A big ups to Kali. Big ups to you. And a big ups to Wow! Sky Moss! Thank you so much for the 20 gifted more memberships. 20 brand new skeletons behind me? Really? Are they back there? Nah, you'll always be a skeleton whether you have a membership or not. Membership just means that you get some nice wallpapers. You get some nice wallpapers and some extra streams. And maybe there are a couple shorts that are cool that are also uploaded secretly. I, I finally have another one that's, that's coming up. Yay. The pipeline has been unclogged and shorts are back rolling. Yeah. Yeah, ta. <laughs> it's not the it's not the shorts makers. They've been doing an incredible job. But you know, sometimes there are like little snags, you know, in the process on like the company side. It just takes a while, but but the shorts are rolling again. They're rolling. Look forward to it. Lots of F words, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. We've got a big ups too. The Mad Kitten. Thank you very much. Yeah. I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> right now. My main, my main focus right now is I just... I want to focus on the smiles of my fans. Oh, that's the most important thing to me. Right now. That's what I care about most. So, yeah. Now things change. Oh, big ups to Lacrisco. Thank you very much. Thanks for the Zatsudan. <laughs> Thanks for the Zatsudan. You're welcome. Thank you for joining. Mm. Thank you for joining in on the fun. Always glad to have you. Chatting with Sleepy Reaps is a great way to wind down after work. I'm dozing off. Have a great stream. Will do. It was fun. It was, a, it was a genuinely good time. I miss chatting. I was worried that I wouldn't like know what to talk about, but things went pretty naturally. So, mm. I feel good about it. Thank you so much for your cheers. A big ups to Immortal, Immortal in Flames. Thank you. And a big ups to Wing CV. Thank you very much. Be calm. Choose violence. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I just want to chill. <laughs> I just want to chill. A big ups too. Ultimatum Hero 369. Wow, for Super Chat. Hi-Fi Rush. I know a lot of people talk about it. It's a it's a rhythm game, right? Rhythm action action game. Yeah. I've never actually tried playing it before, but I've seen a lot of people talk about it. I don't know, do you guys enjoy it? Hello, Cario Pesan. Hello. It's pretty fun. <laughs> no perms though. Man, what a shame. I finished it the other day. It's awesome. Well, as soon as I can clear my plate full of games, <laughs> one for the long list, and the list just gets longer and longer. But it looks pretty stylish. Mm. One of your faves of 2023. Dang. There were some tough acts to follow in 2023. It must be pretty good. A oh, big ups too. Mon him sang. Thank you very much. <laughs> That will be a comedy idea, not an actual educational stream, but of course. All comedians, right? They say it, right? All comedians. Fun to watch for sure. Here to support you. Hope that this can make you feel not so anxious for all the things to come. Also, I miss crony a lot. We all miss crony. The old crone. Yeah. <laughs> the old crone. Well, I'm sure she's just resting in a little bit. And we'll be back to have fun pretty soon. But everybody's gotta, you know, take a breather every once in a while. Yeah. These days I just feel like streams are the breather. <laughs> but maybe I can enjoy, you know, playing with my cats a little bit more. You know. Might be nice to rest a little bit doing that. Have you met up with her? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. have to hang wow my hair is in my face gotta get that fixed <laughs> but yeah whenever crony is around we love to hang yeah always go find something fun to do nothing too crazy last time we hung i made sure that we didn't do anything insane <laughs> no insanity just just chill just chill and catching up typical izakaya stuff you know We got a big ups too. Kyun Siang, thank you. Thanks for all your hard work. We always appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching when I do stream, which is every almost every day. Thank you for watching when I do. I know that it's a lot. I know it's a lot of streams, and I don't want you guys to feel pressured to watch every single one of them, because um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Please don't worry yourselves. Just catch the ones that you can. You know. <laughs> yeah, I miss the clock woman. <laughs> but Callie is here, so I'm fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep you chuckling until until the Cronster is back, and then go give lots of love to Cronster, cause she's doing her best too. We've got a big ups too. Prinny's Rock, thank you very much. Great talk, Mori. I missed these Zatsus. Yeah, nice to do every once in a while. Just catch up again. 
I feel like I kind of stopped doing them because a lot more interesting games came out that I wanted to play. Um, and also I just kind of ran out of things to talk about. That tends to happen sometimes when you do a bunch of Zatsus or like Zatsu-like streams, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> EU people can watch you now, yeah! EU people, how is your Japanese? Because we're, we're probably going to do a Nihongo stream tomorrow. I know JP bros have been waiting. They're waiting! I'm going to have them teach me some more Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a big ups to Marcus Manessas again. Have a good night. Insufficiently Anonymous says Otsukali. Thank you to Yuro Kanard who says Otsukali. Thank you guys so much. Javier Rodriguez, thank you. And a big ups to Yuika. I'm sorry today was a tough day, but I hope tomorrow's better for you. Let's both have a good day tomorrow, okay? Thank you for always making me happy. You're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. A big ups to Lemonator32. Thank you so much. And thank you very much to Stematology. Thank you very much. You've been drawing ferns for the past two hours. Really? You've been drawing ferns like the like the plant or like the popular character from from Freeran. What kind of ferns? Anyway, I hope they're beautiful regardless. Thank you very much to Barney Ward. I appreciate it. It's lovely to be here. And the plant, sadly. <laughs> oh, sadly. Well, I'm sure they're beautiful regardless. <laughs> yeah. The protagonist from Charlotte's Web. Oh god, too many ferns. A big ups to Barney Ward. Thank you very much. And a big ups to Bren Dan. Thank you very much. Always remember you. Nice streaming rapping reaper. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. Thank you. We've also got a big ups to Kirby Superfan. Appreciate it. Thank you for the chill chat stream. These are always nice moments to turn in to tune into. Just a little background noise, a little radio in the background. Almost like a podcast, but a lot less organized. <laughs> Thanks for all your music. I don't know where I would be without it. Aw. Thank you for enjoying it. There's more coming. There's more coming, and I'm pretty happy with it. I've got something new coming up pretty soon, actually. Sooner than you may think. I hope you guys love it. A big ups to Untitled One. Thank you very much, too. Cherry, thank you. I've been a deadbeat for a while. I don't understand some of your sentences, but I like your songs. Thank you! Uh, my English is really fast, sometimes. And sometimes, uh, I use slang and difficult words. But thank you for listening. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I don't understand any of her sentences. Oi! I don't think so. Why are... A big ups to Inu Hoshi, Holo Ian, Love, and Doggo. Money nice for supporting the Mori. <laughs> Thank you for supporting the Mori. I guess that's all for today. That's all. Thanks everybody for sticking around for so long. Uh, I feel the love, I really do. It was nice to just chat, not worry about anything or, you know, just hanging out. I'm grateful for you. And so with that being said, I'm your Mori. I hope you'll remember me. Thank you for all the really big support today. Um, thank you very much, Cyclops Production. What the heck? Thank you very much. <laughs> no, history denied. How could she do that? Mom, that's so cruel. And thank you very much to Quinn Chan as well. The Supa. I'll see you guys around. Go say hi to Kiara. Bye, guys. Catch you on the flip side. I'm out! There are many fun streams scheduled this week. If you don't know what they are, go check them out. They're on my channel. They're scheduled. Be sure to notify yourself. Oh, and if you'd like, comment today about your thoughts. I don't know. Just if you want to, I don't know, leave a comment about something. I don't really care much what it is, but... I read through all of them, so I'd love to see your thoughts. See you later. Bye.